I'm your local Texan idol here to bring you the good news of my return from the the second big right it's the second biggest state in the United States, Texas, right? It's the second biggest, right? Right? Because California is the first biggest. Right? Hold on. Uh who is the biggest state in the US? Oh, no, it's Alaska. I think it's third. I think we're in third place then. Right? We're in third. Oh, no, we're second. We're actually second. We're the second. We're the second biggest state in all the United States. <laughs> I found out that there's sharks. And yes, there is sharks in Texas. If you go to Padre Island, there's a whole bunch of sharks there. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. I'm home. Did I, Ma? Hello, everyone. I'm home. I'm home. Yay. After a very long and kind of stressful weekend, I am finally home from visiting family. For those that don't know, I may be wondering why the fuck am I stream- Why am I streaming TF2 on a Wednesday? Why did I not stream the past two days, including Friday last week? Um, for those that don't know, I was out of town. Uh, my cousin graduated from high school. And this was the first time I ever got the opportunity to go to a family member's graduation, uh, like one of my cousin's graduations at least, because the past two or three years have kind of been ruined because of COVID. And um, like no one, no one from my, from my, um, no one from my family graduated last year. However, however, um, I think it was like two years before that in 2020, 2021, uh, I was not able to like actually go visit Texas to go see all my um, my my other cousins graduate. I had three cousins that graduated within that time span. Could not visit them because of Rona. But now that Rona technically Rona is over, a, a, a government government officially wise it is over. So I was able to like take the opportunity to finally sit down, go visit my family, and hang out with another set of aunts and I have so many aunts and uncles. So I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna sound really confusing. But thank you so much. We're team one of 26 months. Happy 26 months anniversary to us. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, that's where I've been. That's where I've been. As you can see, I'm all Texan fight now. Oh, I'm pretty well meaning. Thank you so much. Good day one, tier one, sub two. Sorry, BT. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we have a hype train. Thank you everyone for the hype train. Uh, let's see how far we can go with that. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm so I'm happy to be home. I will I will I will admit I really really I brought uh, actually you want to know something chat you want to know something you want to know a little secret I actually brought my whole travel streaming setup uh because I was wondering what if I get the urge to stream while I'm over there like do a gorilla I didn't get that urge but there's a reason why what thank you so much me said what thank NYA, you thank you NYA, holy NYA, shit. Nyaru. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much for tier 1 and 2 months. Happy 2 months anniversary to us. It'd be so great. Thank you so much for gifting 1 tier 1 sub to Raiden. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We got we got level 1 complete. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Keep it coming, guys. Keep it coming. I resi I'm resisting going monkey mode. But what? Murphy, thank you for subscribing with the Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Happy 2 months anniversary to us. Thank you. Thank you. Who let her escape Texas? I escaped. Because goddamn was it fucking hot over there. I hate how sticky and hot it is in Texas. Okay? It was nasty. It was nasty. I hated it. Uh, but I went to Bucky's. I got a cowboy hat. I even got a little sheriff badge. And I'm ready to talk about my, my time in Texas. But today, today, guys, we're not only celebrating my comeback. We're going to be playing some TF2. Um, I know Yoro is going to be doing a TF2 stream, a TF2 collab with someone later. So... So, here is me prepping you for that because we'll probably raid into them. We'll probably raid into them. So we're gonna continue like some TF2 hype. But, but, but we're gonna be prepping you guys because not only are you gonna be preparing for this later on TF2 Yodo stream, we I have an announcement to make, guys. Guys, gather around me. I have an announcement to make. I have a big, big announcement to make. Um, for those that have not seen the schedule, well, here it is. First of all, here's the schedule for this week. Thank you so much. Please Tier one eight months. You had an AC while in Australia light. Oh, I had really good AC actually. It's just I hated going outside. But thank you so much for tier one eight, eight months of being with Avery Susan. Thank you for the high train. Thank you, thank you. So I like I said, I have a big announcement. 
Um, as you can see, here's the schedule for this week. We're going to be doing YouTube streams Thursday and Friday, tomorrow and Friday. So, hope you guys can come by through that. I'm not explaining Waffle House roleplay. A lot of people want me to explain the Waffle House roleplay. You just have to come to stream and see what it is. I'm not going to explain anything. You, you, you guys, you guys just have to come to it. And then, thir and then of course, we're going to play playing uh, Rain Storm 2 Vietnam on Friday. But Saturday, Saturday is a super special day, guys. Because... We are going to be playing our first commu uh, community versus community TF2 scrimmage match. And I want to, I need, I'm not really recruiting people to get up for my end at least. It's going to be like a come and go sort of thing. But we are going to be placing off against Lumicord. What's Lumicord? Kaneko Lumi from FaZe Connect. Uh, their, uh, her community members invited our community to go face off against them in a little cute scrimmage match. So... So I hope you guys can come to that. Uh, it'll be happening at, at 12 p.m. PT, 3 p.m. ET. Um, I think on our, I don't know which server it's gonna be on. I think it's gonna be on my server. I know it's gonna be on my TF2 server, but I don't know which Discord server we're gonna be going to just yet. Uh, so I need at least 15, I need at least 14, 15 of you guys to show up. And if you can't stay for the whole thing, that's okay. We'll have a come and go revolving system going. Uh, no, I'm not gonna have like really big signups or anything. It's just gonna be a fun, for fun thing to hopefully connect with another community and everything like haha, face connect, haha. But yes, has he made their nest about it? They're slacky. I know they're slacky. That's why we're gonna win, guys. That's why we're gonna win this. That's why choosers are gonna win this because we're not slacking like them. <laughs> We're actually making an announcement about it. Let's fucking go. But yeah, if you guys want to come to that, there'll be more info posted on my Discord, hopefully closer to the event. So here is my link to Discord. Feel free to join it if you want to play some TF2 with us later uh, on this weekend. Yes, it'll be at 12 p.m. PT, 3 p.m. ET. Um, on I'm gonna I'm gonna say my server. I, I'm gonna say my TF2 server, but I don't know which Discord server we're gonna be connecting to. I'm, I'm assuming it's also gonna be my Discord server, but I haven't I haven't uh, I haven't heard that yet. <laughs> But yes, prepare for war, everyone. Prepare for war. We're going to win this. Even though it's just for fun. At the end of the day, it's just for fun. Okay? Okay. That's my, that's my big announcement. Thank you. Um, I have a couple other announcements in the works currently as well. So please be on the lookout for it as well as I think I didn't make this. I'm going to make this quick, quick one real quick uh, before we get started because, uh, yeah, we're getting closer to off Kai, guys. We're getting really, really close to off Kai. But guess what? I'm going to have a virtual presence at off Kai, guys. Um, I may not be there officially as a guest or in person like I was last year. However, I am going to have a appearance there a virtual appearance thanks to so many cool people who are making it possible so saturday of ofkai will be considered yada day it's the only day i will be virtually present at ofkai if you see me any other time during uh, on friday or sunday it's a scam i'm not really there <laughs> But yes, Saturday of Ofkai will be in Yeti Day. Uh, I will be have a performance on the on the Ofkai community stage, a 3D live and Q&A with Wonders Platform, which is the uh, cool app that a lot of the Face Connect members are working with. And then I'll have a merch, I'll have new merch dropping and a meet and greet at the virtual Oshi booth. So yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's going on. I hope you guys can come to it. Uh, more times and more info will be released very, very, very soon. Um, I'm just trying to finalizing everything. And I mean, literally, I'm literally trying to finalize everything. But thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, alrighty. But yeah, that's all. I think that's all the big announcements I have. Uh, more announcements will be probably coming within the next two weeks because I have a lot I need to. Wait, wait. One more announcement. One more announcement. Wait, 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 wait. One more. Just one more, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I know I said one more earlier, but literally, this is the last one. This is the last one. It is more like a notice than anything. Okay. So. As you can say here, and if you've been noticing recently, I've been streaming a lot on YouTube recently. Guess what? We're about a thousand hours away from membership, from, from YouTube monetization and memberships. And it's been a big goal of mine to get monetized at the beginning of the year. Uh, so if you guys want to help me out, please come to the next uh, few YouTube streams that we have. Which are going to be tomorrow and Friday. We're going to be so we're going to be doing the song temperature finale, and then we're going to be continuing to stick of truth. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to be streaming stick of truth honestly because uh, we're getting to the to the fucking butt uh, anally proed section of the game, and that's a long section from what I understand. I don't know how I'm going to stream it, but we're going to figure it out together. 
together. Thank you so much for the subs, by the way. Thank you, thank you for the hype train. Yay. Alrighty. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to help me out and get memberships quicker, that would be really, really nice. Because I do, I am thinking about moving a lot of my exclusive stuff onto YouTube once I get it. But I haven't really made the final decision to it. So if you guys want to help me out in making that decision, feel free to go on over and make it possible by shout by by going to watch my my youtube and put on the vods in the background if you can if you can of course here's the links to everything only the main youtube channel not the extras youtube channel okay 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 i think we're good now are we good chat are we good i think we're good all righty <laughs> yay i'm sorry i can't i i came back with a lot of things i needed to say we're supposed to be playing tf2 though so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started then. Let's go ahead and say hello to everyone here in chat before we get started, though. So, thank you so much to all the lurkers about watching and being here. No matter what you guys be doing, working hard, playing hard, studying hard, or watching the pod at a later time. I hope you just have a lovely, lovely day. And I hope you survive all these storms. We're going to have a really bad El Nino this year. Uh, so, lots of hail. Like, it literally just hailed for me. <laughs> like, literally before I started stream, it was hailing really, really bad. And now it's fine. It's all clear and nice now. <laughs> But yes, um, I'm uh, I'm safe now. I'm I'm good though. Actually, a funny thing is, it hailed really really badly when I was going to the airport yesterday. Uh, I I am pretty sure my uncle's car almost got like shattered by the hail because it was hard. And like I saw a couple other cars that were like their windshields were shattered, and it was kind of scary. <laughs> whether whether autism this early, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whether or not, if, if it's an active year, you're going to be hearing me talk about it a lot. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Let's go say hello to everyone, though. Oh, my background music. God damn it. Why am I such an idiot when it comes to that? I need chat to do, like, a redeemed background background noise. So that way, whatever I forget it, chat can put it on for me. <laughs> I should do that. I should do that. Okay, let's say hi to everyone, though. Everyone say hi in chat, and I'll say hi back to you. So let's go say hello to Sinekino, Miliana, Caster. Thank you so much for team one of 27 months. Happy 27 months anniversary to us. Uh, Pastorine, welcome, welcome. <coughs> Cute, Kench, uh, Doll, welcome, welcome. Uh, then we have Sears, Rick Videos, Young Kitsune, Purple Mini, Watch, welcome, welcome, guys. How y'all doing today? And then we have Gan off the Green, welcome, welcome. Uh, Evan Hunter Gale, welcome, welcome. Roscoe, Beast Mode, Brimmy, welcome, welcome, guys. How y'all doing? Hello, hello. Raiden, welcome, welcome. Oh, is it raining again? Oh, yeah, it's raining again. <laughs> it's raining again. Lee. Lee, it's raining again. Uh, Murphy, welcome, welcome. Shane, uh, Kitsune and I, welcome, welcome. Hello, Cupcake, how you doing today? And then, Ken, thank you so much for tier 1 at 26 months. Happy 26 months anniversary to us. Pro me, thank you so much for tier, uh, thank you so much for getting tier 1 at Tassar. Thank you, thank you. Uh, GFG, uh, Oxide, welcome, welcome. Mr. Zen, thank you so much for tier 1 at 2 months. Don't brap in my face. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. And then, uh, be so Murphy, thank you so much for gifting the sub to Raiden. And Murphy, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you, thank you, guys. Don't forget to use your Prime subs. It is free, but you have to do it every month. You have to, you have to manually do it every month. That's the only stinky thing. Awesome, Emo, welcome, welcome. Uh, Slay Monster, welcome, welcome. Be so Murphy, thank you so much for tier 1 at 8 months. Happy 8 month anniversary to us. Uh, Master Rain, welcome, welcome. Acidic Alchemist, welcome, welcome. Eliana, welcome, welcome. A totally legit dude. Uh, Caliph Ghost, welcome, welcome. How y'all doing today? And Leon Ultima, welcome, welcome. Evil Cartoon, welcome, welcome. Lung, welcome, welcome. Uh, Small Take, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Collector, Collector Ace, uh, 993, welcome, welcome. Yes, we're gonna play TF2 here in a bit. We're playing TF2 here in a bit. Uh, to the player, 8D Skill, welcome, welcome. Uh, Rolfstone First, welcome, welcome. And Sir Shabby, welcome, welcome. And really young, welcome, welcome. If I missed anyone, please, you're free to bonk me in the head. You are free to bonk me in the head. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with some TF2, guys. I've been I've been really dying to play some TF2. On Monday, I was, like, getting the itchies. I was getting the itchies to play it, but I was, like, in the middle. I was in the middle. I was in the middle. Of hey, wait a minute. I said hi to every single one of you guys. You do not bonk me. Only people I don't say hi to are allowed to bonk me. I said hi to you guys. Yeah, I got the itchies for, for the TF2s. But thankfully, um... My family kept me distracted, but at the same time, ooh, I wanted to play so bad because it was like out of it was out of schedule for me. Casper, <laughs> I said hi to you. I said hi to you. I know I did. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's 
further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you want to connect to our community server, by the way, we have a, our own server for TF2. Uh, especially if you're new here and you don't know what the heck is going on. You can use exclamation TF2 and it will take you to uh, all the information that you need for it. And then... All I gotta do is open up... Oh, it better give me the streamer mode. This better... I keep forgetting to double check if it saves my streamer mode. Hey, the scruff guy, I said hi to you too. I remember who I say hi to. I definitely know. I said hi to you. The dumb Ozzy. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Oh, let's switch on over to... Oh, wrong one. No! Wrong one! There we go. There we go. Capture. Papa says hi to you too! He can't be abused. No abuse. No abuse. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if you don't know how to connect, I will show you guys. So you're gonna open up your console. You type in connect. <laughs> Seriously, I said hi to you too. Yaru olev.tf2.host. And then type enter, and then there you go. That's it. I'm gonna. Can we still bonk you if we can't remember you said hi? No. That's your own fault. Cry about it. I'm sorry, but I have to get chat some Texas Dada Sugar. Oh, I'll give you some Texas Dada Sugar. <laughs> so I, so for those that don't know, I went to Texas this past weekend. And you know what? Despite going to Texas and seeing my family, like, I really, really missed you guys. <laughs> like, really, really missed you guys. It wasn't... It, it was what. It wasn't the same without you guys. I, I, there were a couple of nights where I was just like, ooh. I kept saying, ooh, all night, all night long, chat. All night long. Whoa, that guy's cheating. Montama, that guy was cheating, even though he was on our side. We should, we should probably give him the bonky bonks. Cause I don't think, I don't think. Ayo, hey, oh, is it an RTD feature? Oh, it's an RTD feature. Oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that the RTD exists. So please excuse my ignorance. Actually, before I continue, I want my Bucky Scup to show. There we go. I, I, I gotta have my Bucky's cup. <laughs> okay, okay, enough Texas troll accent. <laughs> enough of that, but thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. Now I fault RTD gave me a no clip. Actually, it is your fault because you decided to use the RTD. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Hey! Bussy's mug. <laughs> I, did you remember the Alamo, guys? Do you remember the Alamo? I remember the Alamo. Ah, but, okay, I know Memorial Day was this weekend, so I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all had like an extended, extended weekend. But how were you, how was y'all's weekend? How, what did y'all do while I was gone? What was going on? What was the big happening? What was the big happening? Tell me all the big happenings of this past, of this past week, besides fish tank stuff, because I did keep up with that. Can you remember if I said hi? No problem, Gooch on I'll say hi to you again. <laughs> Hello, Gooch. How you doing? Is the me about the Bucky's pay? Bucky's pay? What's Bucky's pay? Do you have a Bucky's beaver onesie? I wish I did. Someone should buy that for me. Waiting for you to get back now. <laughs> Every day I would look up in the mirror saying, "Yeah, dude, don't go." <laughs> and ain't up was five hundred on TV. Oh yeah, that big that that was this weekend. Mm -hmm. Ha! Cried at the lack of yeah, dude. Well, I'm back. Don't cry no more, friend. I went to an anime convention and spent way too much money. <gasps> Which one did you go to? Did you go to Fanime? Did you go to Fanime? Fanime was re is apparently really was really really good this year. I love the little transportation characters that Bart uh, debuted at Fanime. Actually, they were really cute. They were really cute. They looked. They they look. Why that was literally me. 
Uh, Froster frauds VTuber out of tens of millions of dollars. Oh yeah, I heard about that. So did y'all hear about that? About that dude that like scammed a whole bunch of bigger VTubers? Um, because he used to work for a major studio or whatever. And it was like multiple VTubers too, not just one. Also, chat, I think we have a, our, our mods. I think we have a stream sniper. I don't know what their name is, but I guess try to find them. <laughs> I think we have a, I think we have a stream sniper. No, do tell the story of fraud. Haven't haven't uh haven't heard. It was him scamming them and not the company. He would No, it was him. He was using the company like his he was, he was, okay, so he got fired, apparently, from his position within Tonari, because, like, it, it involves Tonari animation. He only worked for Tonari, but then eventually, I think he got fired, and then he decided to open up his own, like, little individual studio. And then, after that, he used Tonari, like, his experience in Tonari to, uh... You know, kind of give himself like leverage to work with other VTubers or whatever. So there was no, the only person involved in it. So like Tonari in, is innocent in this because a lot of people like to are saying that Tonari is the one that is that is doing the scam, but it's not them at all. It's only this one dude who got fired from them, but is using the name of the company to like, you know, make itself look good. He's getting, yeah, 35k, Jesus Christ. I'm also impressed with the man's audacity at, at scamming so many at the same, right, so many at the same time. And then like, the thing that really, really bothered me about it was that when he released that document, detail, like that document did not make him look, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking, thinking that document was gonna make him look better. It obviously didn't, it made him look even worse. It made him look so worse than usual than than it should have. Also, I'm gonna turn off the background noise. And then, not only that, he didn't censor a lot of links, like a lot of Google Doc links to uh to projects that were done by these big VTubers. So a lot of things got leaked. A lot of projects that were currently in the works right now. Are, were were leaked and like at the end of the day like it's a, it's a matter of someone getting scammed at this point it because they pay for they're paying for a service if you you may not like these big vtubers or whatever but the point is if this and matt put your if your oshi was the one to to get hurt by these people would you be acting different you know because a lot of people were like, haha, they deserved it or whatever. I don't think I don't think anyone deserves to be scammed. You know? He leaked Bao's song too. Really? So the song got leaked. I I only I thought it was just the concept that got leaked. He asked someone to tell him how they got scanned and went ahead and did it LMAO and he had to kill Supreme Texas a Texan engineer. <laughs> Hello, TW, how you doing today? Honestly, it's pretty terrible to see anyone get scanned. Exactly, I mean, it's not about who was scanned, it's that he- Yeah, it's that he performed the scam. I just don't like that people were like, being like, oh my god, like, oh my god, they deserve it or whatever, like. Oh, they're gonna, re like, yeah, they're gonna, re like, sure, they're gonna recover those funds, like, in a month or two because of how, you know, popular and how much money they get and everything. But the fact of the matter is, no one should be getting scammed. No one should. In my opinion, I don't watch any of the girls that got scanned. I uh, can't think of any. Uh, could I? I can't think of anything could have done to make them. Well, I see a lot of people like trying to claim, like, oh, they're bigger VTubers, so like, maybe they deserve to get like knocked down a peg or two. You know, be humbled or whatever. Whenever you say they deserve it, first imagine it. Yeah, like, that's how I think of it. It's like, man, imagine that happening to me. And it's like, I wouldn't be happy about it. They, they didn't deserve it. Oh, what? Who was saying that? Jealousy too is so woman. I think it was a woman moment. OMG, sisters, did you hear about, like, 
Did you hear about about them like getting scammed? Oh, they probably deserted because they're bad with their money. OMG, sister! OMG! God, I hate those type of girls. He'll do honestly if you like sorry for everyone who got scammed by Yeah, exactly. It's a man kind of your own fault for not back on tricking, but nobody should be like that. He used to he used the fact that he was a Yeah, exactly. Like you could do all honestly, as someone who almost was in that same sort of position with a charity group, actually. I won't name who they are. I just speak about speak about them earlier in the year when like a big controversy happened with them. Um but, but, from what, so this charity, uh, this charity platform reached out to me, was like, we want you to do a collab with us, and do a, do a charity stream with them. So I was like, okay, cool. Did as much research as I can. And I was like, okay. I did all, I, I, I crossed my T's, dotted my I's, did what I can. Even my management went through everything. There was not, there was only like maybe one or two red flags. But we were keeping an eye out for it. And we weren't going to agree to anything until like proper discussions were had. So that's what really saved me in the end. But unfortunately, unfortunately, they tried uh, their platform, their platform was something where it's like you donate so you donate on their platform okay you donate on their platform and then without even notifying you they take i think it was like 40 50 percent of your donation without letting you know by the way without letting you know so you know how like this the the stream last tip page is is uh you know, laid out. It's it. Their platform is laid out exactly like a like a Streamlabs tip page. But it goes. It's supposed to go straight to charity. But what they don't tell you is that a percentage, a very high percentage, goes towards profit of the company. So once that was expressed to us, we were like, "Whoa, wait a minute. What do you mean profit? What are you literally? Why are you trying to profit off of being a charity?" Or trying to be a charity platform. You really take away funds away from, you know, the charity by doing this. And they're like, oh, we need for operational costs and everything. So then I brought up, well, Tiltify does a very low percentage, literally less than 5%. They take away 5% of total funds gathered for any charity stream. And that, it goes to their operational costs. But the thing that really bothered me was that they just didn't clarify it on their page, on the donation page. They made, uh, Tiltify makes it clear. They had zero mention of it. And like, I get it. 50%, that's, that's valid. I mean, that's, I mean, that's not valid. And taking, taking amount, what I'm trying to say is taking an, any amount for operational cost. It's valid, but I wanna know first, you know? I wanna know first! Caramel Chuba and certified pit baby returns from Texas Mia region. Fuck you, Wong. By the way, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. How you doing? Thank you, thank you. But clear, but he was from a reputable group and had uh connections uh or uh commendations from people prior who also been screwed that hadn't spoke up because probably NDA reasons. Damn, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. Most of those platforms are ripping out in the so-called industry standard. Yeah, but not fit Yeah, exactly. B2 is saying it's their fault the type of people who can't make it because they have charisma of a wise wire brush pro uh, pro stage. <laughs> That's why they are VTs and not VTubers or viewers. Mm -hmm. Scout Gaming. Yeah, Scout Gaming. Hello, Bottle Gaming. How are you doing today? I'm going to do really bad because like I'm very, very much scruff right now. Very much scruff. Also, you're doing business requires trust all above. You can do your deals, but can't. Uh, yeah, you could do it. Like, literally, in this industry, guys, you could do every. You can cross every single T, dot every single I, 
and you can still get screwed over. You can have the best management and lawyers in the world, and you will somehow still get Welcome still get screwed back, over. Hope you had a good time on Earth trip, and good to see you again. Thank you, Lester, for tier again. one and two months. Happy two months, and everybody stay to us. I had a lovely time. I was supposed to be talking about taxes and my trip over there, but here I am. Here I am, complaining. She is German. I'm German gaming. German game. Serenity jump. Serenity jump scare. <laughs> it, it might have been valid, but the sound from how they went about it, hiding and saying nothing, were almost fr Yeah, exactly. The thing. See, I don't mind it, but I. And there needs to be some clear thing. And now it's like if any sort of. So I have a rule for myself. If I work with a charity, or like with a platform that does charity work, or with anyone that does charity work, the. The profit fees must be at least... My limit is 10%. My limit is 10... Uh, uh, below 10%. Seems like a natural transition. It's got my below free head. Ah! Give it. She draw my gaming. She draw my gaming. So like that's my rule of thumb. So if you ever see me working with a charity, I, so like my if you ever want, okay. So any VTubers that are here actually, that research is the best. Yes, I do use that. So I know which I think it's about Charity Watch or something like that. I know which side you're talking about. Though I use that all the time, but I use multiple ones too, not just that one either. Uh, but my best advice is if you ever want to do a charity stream, guys, this is mostly for VTubers, but I think this could apply to anyone, is to work with the charity directly or work with an approved platform by that charity. The best way to go about it is working with the charity directly. Um, for example, um, I'm gonna be working with Gamers Outreach. This is gonna be my second year working with Gamers Outreach this year. It's gonna come up at the end of the month, actually. I'm gonna be doing a TF2 uh, community versus community uh, stream event. Where we're gonna be facing off against different VTubers and their communities. Um, at the at the beginning of every hour for six or six or twelve hours straight, I haven't decided yet. And I work with them directly because I see I see what the money is going to and everything like that. It goes directly to them. Same thing with the American Heart Association. Every year for, for the past, I think. Three years, actually. For the past three years, I've been doing charity streams for American Heart Association. And they have been probably one of the best charity groups to work with. Tia 2 uh, Community Battle Royale, hell yeah! The Australian has returned to the drop site. Just remind, remind me to do some more blood donations. Yeah, do some blood donations, friend. I am so sad that I cannot donate blood, actually. Uh, because of my heart condition and my medication. I literally... If I could, guys, I would donate blood every month. I literally would donate blood every month. But unfortunately, my medication doesn't allow me to. So I'm kind of stuck here. Damn it! Anyway, mind if I just lurk for a wee bit? Wanna watch TF2? No problem! We love lurkers here. Thank you, thank you for lurking. I'm not kind of playing seriously today because I'm just here to like... Talk more. <laughs> just kind of have TF2 on in the background. He's doing it every year up to the pandemic. Mm hmm. Damn, sorry about that. Meds hate. Yeah, meds hate! But the U.S. is always in need. Actually, you want to know a fun fact about blood? Do you want to know a fun? Do you want to know an autistic fact about blood? Did you know that the president carries two bags of blood in his uh, vehicle, in like the presidential vehicles, no matter where he is in the world? They always carry two packs of blood for him. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, T2 is just basically his ancestor and <laughs> They should donate blood to spread DNA. Spread your DNA to the world, guys. I like my meds. They keep me from blowing up like a volcano. They keep my heart from not popping. 
Yeah, they should have done a collab with the donation center with the stand you in the nurse outfit site in the center. Oh, I've always wanted to do that, actually. I want to do more, like, <laughs> local collaborations, actually, like with... Like with organizations here in Colorado. But I'm also not from Colorado, so I don't know if I have, like, the right place to be doing that in the first place. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure they would prefer someone local. I mean, if Bart and Amtrak are having anime, anime uh, girls representing their 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 company now, I'm pretty sure I can do the same. Presidential book, but just a little, yeah, just a little snack for later. President is a van. He's not a vampire. It's right if he gets shot or executed or whatever. The Australian will be available. Ah. You can't, I donate blood in Canada when I was a student. Mm hmm. DJ Redemption Company is still wild to me. I love the Bart, the Bart anime girls. I like the super fan one, the one that looks like everyone. I got tagged in like the, the one that's like, that has like the little Eda bag as like a, it's like a little train. And she's like a, she's like a transit super fan or whatever. That's like her, that's literally her title, transit super fan. I got I kept getting tagged in that over the weekend. I'm like, oh my god, Yadu, you're you're I didn't know you were collabing with Bart. Didn't know you're collabing with Bart. And I'm like, what? You guys are silly! Oh hold on, I should get the picture of it. I should get the picture of the Bart anime girl. Um Hey mods, do you wanna help me out? Uh find me. Find me a picture of the anime, the the anime Bart girls. And leave it in our, um, leave it in the mod channels on Discord, and then I'll go pick it up. So I don't want to look for it right now. <laughs> People want that merch, I know, right? Ah. The lines are Bart Anime Girls, if any, we were so, right? They were so long! <laughs> Not Simpson Bart! You know the, the Bay Area rail? Transportation? I think that's what it's called. B A R T. Yeah. Bay, uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Bay, it's Bay Area Rail Transit, I think. Bart? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, mods. I'm gonna download it right now because I didn't want to look for it. <laughs> See, this is, isn't it great having mods that do things for free for you? Isn't it great? Isn't it amazing? Save. Booty bop. Okay, so, oh, shit. So these are the Bart anime girls. Look at them, they're so cute. They're so freaking cute. Look at them. So you have like the little goat mascot and then you have like a a, a character that represents like their state bird. Then you have like the rail uh, staff lady and then you have like the super, the she looked apparently a lot of people said she looks like me. Not all brown women. You can't just compare all brown women to each other, guys. You just can't. You can't compare all brown women to each other. That's yab. But they're cute. I like them. <laughs> I really like them. I really like them. I hope. I hope more companies can do shit like that. Cause let's be real. Let's be real, guys. Let's be real. She looks like Nana because she is also brown, cute, ganky looking. Right! That's, that's what a lot of people are saying! As a small picture, it just kind of has that. <laughs> it has the me vibe, right? Well, well, well. I think this is actually a smart move. Like, yes, company be like. Company do be like, hello, fellow kids, how do you do? But this, this specific instance, it makes sense. Think about it, chat. Okay, I want you to think about it with me. This generation, the Zoomer generation, has the lowest amount of licenses ever, like, ever reported. Zoomers are not getting their licenses. They are high-key relying on a lot of public transportation or other methods of transportation like biking. So why else would you want to, and also, with increased ridership, of newer generations, there will be a demand for better transit. Therefore, transit companies, local transit companies, 
like BART or even like the, uh, like the New York uh, subway systems, they could get more funding to be as good as our, as the, as public transportation is in other countries. It's genius if you think about it, it's genius. Chance of ton of mascots for every little thing is about the, uh, it's about time. I know it's all about time to the US, the same thing. It's over for Nyeru if the weather channel ever makes a VTuber. I want to be their VTuber. I would totally be their VTuber. Remember though the VTubers say brown, uh, brown VTubers don't exist and aren't popular because racist, but I'm brown. I'm popular. Popular than most of them will ever be, but that's because I don't cry at everything. I cry at some things, but I don't cry at everything. Crying a lot turns people off. I only got that like a year ago and I'm yet, and yet to drive a vehicle. Still waiting for Walmart to get their own VTuber. That's Pippa. That's Pippa. The same has really good public transit except for the part where it gets robbed on the buses and trains. I like to drive, but you know I don't have a car. Mm -mm -mm. Dear brand, make more cute anime girls. Lessa. I will buy, I literally will buy more of their product. Like it's genius marketing to, see this is the kind of marketing that Boomers don't want to do because they're too afraid to take risks. You should be their official VTuber for N Car Boulder. I I would totally okay. Literally, if any public like entity here in in Colorado, we're gonna reach out to you and be like, hey, we see you live in Colorado. Do you want to represent like? Do you want to represent us as like our official VTuber or whatever, or like a mascot? I'd be like, hell yeah! Hell yeah! Just give me free parking wherever the fuck I want to go! That's literally all I can ask for! Free! Give me, give me parking immunity anywhere in the city, and I will do anything for you! <laughs> yeah, exactly! It's a deal! It's a deal, man! Give me free parking to anywhere in the city of Denver, and I will do anything for you guys. <laughs> Did I mean you die or I can't just hear? Oh, I turned it off. I turned it off because I, wa I wanted, I want TF2 noises. You mean the fish of Vita or a Denver Satanic Airport, DEN? DEN has to clean up its act first and then I'll, and then I'll be happy to be their mascot. All parking lots will see mandated city, city Chuma mascot parking, yeah! Exactly. Give me the key to the city. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really, really cool. And I think it's really, really smart that Bart is doing that. And I hope a lot of other government entities kind of go in the same direction that Bart is doing. Because I can tell, like, this is not going to be what Bart is all about. But it's only a part of Bart. You know? Cars and stickers of the VTuber get 5% off parking. Yeah! Let's go! I would do that. No, seriously though. Seriously though. If there's ever an opportunity for like... I guess like anime woman like me to... You know, do something cool for like their local government. I would totally do it. I may, the, I may be against the federal government, but your local government is where change really starts. So you always start with your local government and then you go bigger. Right, chat? And we're FBI V2 when your glowies go virtual. <laughs> it's only a matter of time to Lucifer because of V2. Yeah, exactly. If you want to make a change, you start local. The only man attended the present is a VTuber. I'm surprised that a VTuber has. Oh no, wait, no, I take it back. A VTuber has run for office before uh, in Japan. I think it was like a. But they use a. It was a virtual avatar, not really like a VTuber. It was just someone who was using a virtual mascot to represent themselves. But they didn't really identify as a VTuber, if that makes sense. Yeah, it was like during the last election period when I was actually there in March. I saw the poster for her too. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking miss it. I miss you, Pua! How are you? How have you been doing? 
Lord Buckethead is the closest thing I've seen to these things to it happening. Mm. And he has Sonic VTuber to run for office. There are Sonic VTubers, but I don't know if they would run for office. Yeah, I think it's cute though. I hope I hope they continue it. It's a great way to reach out to you know that generation who again has the lowest license plate or license numbers in recent history. It's very smart. It's a cool idea. I've been pretty good. Have a beef sandwich today. Oh nice, I have pancakes today. I was craving some some pancakes, so I went to go get pancakes. And it was very, very good. No! Got you. Haha. Uh -huh. Nice. Caribbean woman! Chilean dog! Hello, how you doing, doggo? Hello, hello. He will win one day. Mm -hmm. I can't believe nobody, uh, nobody has any fucking money for a car. Gus has something to do with the lack of licenses. Oh no no no! Like, uh, that's not that's not the reason why, like, people don't have licenses, or at least like this generation just have licenses. Uh, most of them kind of it, it kind of leads back to like I guess like mental health. From what I've been understanding, I could- uh, it, these articles could be wrong though. It could be a big cope, but essentially like a lot of kids are afraid of driving actually. And I- as, as a, one of those kids who is afraid of driving still, I totally get it. I totally get it. Because think about it. Think about it, chat. My, uh, the Gen Z grew up in- in the- in the recession period, where they saw their parents struggling and everything. So to think that they, that not only could they not afford, probably afford a car and the gas and everything that goes along with it. There's also a fear of like, okay, let's say I do get that car and I'm able to drive it everywhere, but then some idiot ruins it. And then I have to get a new car and then I have to pay all the insurance and I have to deal with all this bullshit for it. Totally so get the fear, but can't get anywhere without driving. That's why I think we should invest in our public transportation. What do you mean when you don't speed through two different lanes of traffic twice and the speed is down? <laughs> yeah, I'm perfectly capable of driving, but being a metal box going to. It, yeah, it does spook! It's a big spooky thing! Can't spare it on the four year olds that are way too confident about it. Mm. Cities are getting built up now, too. Rather than having to say 10 miles for shopping, it's now within one mile. See, I want that. I want that so bad. Now, have you seen the combat NG? I have not, actually. But yeah, that's why I think it's super, super smart that, like, Bart is doing this. Because they are literally. They are literally catering to the generation where. They don't feel safe on the road. And they don't have the confidence to be on the road. And probably can't even afford to be on the road. He's been killing everyone. Oh, well, if he's stream sniping or whatever, I think mods can handle him. Mm -mm. There's some areas where public transit is hard to set up, like a more rural suburb, uh, suburban areas. So I live in the suburb areas, and that is very, very true. We have the machine that we just sit in and it just goes fast. Exactly! I don't like that! We would be okay with public transportation if people weren't trying to take away my car. Mm -hmm. See, I don't think people should... See, this, this goes back to the conversation we had a couple weeks ago where it's like... I don't think we should be banning, like, gas-powered vehicles. All types of transportation are super important. Can there, wa can there be ways to improve or decrease the amount of these type of vehicles on the road? Yeah, maybe. But outright banning them is not going to solve anything. And if anything, it's going to cause more problems. Like the fact that Col not Colorado, uh, California wants to ban all gas powered vehicles by like 2024, 2025. It's fucking stupid. Their grid cannot handle electric power vehicles. It literally, like it literally cannot handle it. 
and then they're gonna go through an energy crisis, and they're gonna be like, oh, well, it's their fault. They should have, they, they should have prepared our, our thing for us. They should, they should have agreed to like all this. The band's just forcing everyone to make electric cars. You still can't, uh, you still can own and use them. Mm -mm. Even then, I still think we should still be making it. We should, we still should be making those gas power cars. Is it not enough lithium in the world to replace cars with, yeah, exactly. It's a super bad, super uh, big issue. There'd be a global ban on CFS. Mm -hmm. It's banning new vehicles, not banning. No, but I'm still saying. That's what I'm still saying, guys. We should still be making those gas powered vehicles. Decrease the amount of them? I, I think that's a good compromise. But outright banning them is, is very yab. Very yab and will lead to a lot of issues. It's just that they ban gas powered cars. I'll just shit. I really want something for. From pre 2010. Mm -mm. Old good, new bad. Not all new is good, and not all bad, or not all, all not all old is bad. What's that famous saying, guys? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Some people need to take that to heart. At least the mass power consumption and the production can give the gas. Uh, cash should say. Mm. That's a law that doesn't get challenged. They also banned the sale of gas generators too. But gas, oh my God. What is wrong with our government, guys? Cause I think the right way of going about this is not an outright ban. That's like saying like, for, I, I think, can, can I use marijuana in this example? Cause like, I'm not someone who consumes marijuana. Neither medically or recreationally. And I live in a state where it's like, Okay, I can do either or, and I'll be safe, and I won't get in trouble. But at the same time, banning it is not going to make people stop using it. Now, are there certain certain substances out there that do need to be banned? Oh, fuck yeah. For example, um... What's that one drug where it's like, it makes you high or whatever? Wow, that's really descriptive. That's really descriptive. Yeah, dude, that's like every single drug on the market. <laughs> That's like every single drug on the market. Um, fent fentanyl? Yeah, fentanyl. Fentanyl. There's a huge fentanyl epidemic happening. And that's the one I think needs a lot of regulation. Because it is, you, it is gen genuinely used for medical purposes. However, Jesus Christ, a lot of it could be prevented if doctors didn't just give it out willy-nilly. Oh, you mean those uh, make you high? Yeah, they make you high. So this doesn't need to be banned. Alcohol. Socially acceptable means just could cause more damage to more, uh, more other drugs. But now became a problem after the feds banned the ingredients to make ma math. Oh, to make math? One plus one equal two? I can't believe it. The government banned math. Guys, rejoice, the government has banned math. One plus one does not equal two anymore. <laughs> I'm just playing with you, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. Damn it, I love math. Well, guess what? It's now banned. You cannot say one plus one equals two anymore. Finally, math is illegal. <laughs> Can't believe algebra is probably no more sin cost or damn. Of course they banned math. Why introduce Common Core? That's right, math. I'm still gonna do it illegally. <laughs> Caffeine also needs to be banned. Not for any good reason. I just want to see my morning and night workers just suffer. See, I am not a caffeine. I'm not a coffee person. Not a caffeine person. But I do. I, I think. I think things like caffeine are big codes for addiction. I think there's legitimate caffeine addictions out there. Everyone has a caffeine addiction, but it became so socially accepted that, uh, and so profit off of that no one wants to say that it's an addiction. Cause there, I know so many people who are like, I cannot live without my morning coffee. I cannot do this or that without coffee. Uh, don't talk, don't talk to me until my mug is this empty type of people, like unironically. AJ Black Tea, you're getting caffeine. Not my fault, uh, coffee, green tea, and cola are caffeinated. No, but I'm not saying they should be banned. 
I'm just saying that people need to be more honest about caffeine addictions. That's all I'm saying. It's okay that you like that stuff. I'm not saying that we should ban it. I think it's kind of dumb if you do ban, like, coffee. But there are legit, like, I generally concern people who tell me, like, I cannot live without coffee. I cannot, can't, I, I have to go to Starbucks every day. Or else I just can't function. Banning things is, banning things is just dumb too. That's not a thing too. Banning things in general is just kind of dumb. There are, there are things where it's like you do understand it. But like banning it isn't gonna make it go away. It's gonna actually become, it's like, it's like when you feed trolls guys, you know how like that, you know how you like, let's say a troll comes on and then they're like spamming obscenities everywhere. If, if you give them the attention and tell them to stop, they're not gonna stop doing it. If you keep getting them the attention, they're gonna keep doing it because that's what they look for, attention. However, if you ignore it, if you ignore the troll, don't participate in the troll, usually they go away. Of course, that's not for every case. I don't think we should be applying that to every case. It's a case by case, not a black and white sort of issue thing, you know? It shouldn't be a black and white thing. Wait, you guys are getting fed? <laughs> Hit them with a cool story, bro, then say nothing exactly. F uh, fault out banning something just means it's totally unregulated now, uh, far less safe. Mm -hmm. Banning things is another how to how this all uh, Banning things can end up in a how did this all happen woman moment. Exactly. Also, how the fuck do I do the little. Hold on, how do I do that? Everyone has the little. The little, how do you do it? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Yay. I like doing that. I like, I like pretending I'm Spider-Man. I like pretending I'm, ah! The enemy intelligence was returned to their face. You need to equip your grapple hook. Can I grapple you guys? I'm gonna grapple you guys. You get knockout power up. Okay. Do you get points for hooking the pyro? I wish you did. No, come here, come here. Damn it. What was the most depressed brave you've seen on TF2? I don't have sprays enabled, so I don't see them. However, I do remember seeing a naked anime woman one, and I was like, "That's really cool. I want naked anime woman." You can got me, and if you even if you cause an injury. Ah! Yeah, it! I died. actually based I want I want naked anime woman all over my tf2 server I just can't see it when I'm on twitch because then twitch will ban me for titty my own spray which is uh mammy to life from the top half of nintendo TS. <laughs> the good days are using booby sprays to trick people into walling onto sticky traps oh fuck yeah let's go the counter uh strike source was cursed whoa to Astro's Grispin, uh, Ray Hammer, Fancy Chief, and Azuri Rivers. Thank you, thank you. Man, so many subs today. So many subs today. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> you know, this is on Odyssey. Mm hmm. Titties for life. I still gotta figure out. I still gotta figure out how, like, what platforms I can go on to do, like, Koikatsu and Hentai and all this other shit. The welcome back sets. The welcome back sets. I love it when you guys welcome me back like that. Thank you. I can't, honestly, I really can't wait to do YouTube memberships. Because then I get to host my own membership party. And then I can do members on these streams. And then I can... And then I can upload my emotes onto there finally. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be very fun. And I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting YouTube partnerships soon. Donna help us QA where the eyes were, a mommy's nipples, and it would be. Oh, nice. 
There's kick. You can try it there. Kick does not. Okay, that's such a really big misconception a lot of people have. A lot of people think you can stream NSFW stuff on kick. No, you cannot. It is within their TOS that they do not allow NSFW content. I don't know where that idea came from, actually, that you can stream NSFW stuff on, on kick. They're definitely a lot open of a platform, but they do not allow Unity. Or Unity. Nudity! Nudity or uh, sexually suggest suggestive content. The is the one that Melody uses. Which one does Melody use? Because she uses a lot. There's, there's like many that she uses. There's Rumble, Bitch Shoot, and Odyssey. I have to double check. They don't allow a sense of unity. Rumble doesn't like naked stuff. Hmm. No Unity or uh, on kick <laughs> based. They don't allow Unity games. What the fuck you? <laughs> The email uses Chatterbait, but I don't want the thing is like, I don't want to go on a porn website. Cause then people are gonna make fun of me and be like, wow, look at her, she does porn now. Ah! I don't want that. I'm literally trying to avoid that. Like I wanna go on a platform where it's like, not just NSW stuff either. Nudity, whoa, whoa! She's getting naked! But yeah, I just don't want to use a, a, a slippery slope go adult and nudity go hand in hand. You know what, guys? I have a platform idea. A place where you can stream normal things but also do like NSFW content, but the main platform is not revolved around NSFW. You know? It's just a free, free platform where you can. Stream, where you can, where you, it's an 18 plus platform, okay? I want an 18 plus platform that doesn't revolve around porn. The enemy has our Newgrounds has porn and I cannot stream on Newgrounds. I want a streaming platform. No, I want a streaming platform. I should have, I should have been more clear. You cannot stream on Newgrounds. And it's a W Discord change. I don't want to rely on Discord. I don't. I just want an 18 plus streaming website where I can click go live. And I can either be doing TF2 or I could do a fucking Koi Katsu stream. I just don't want it to be centered around porn and being naked and being NSFW and having a, a buzzer up your hoo-ha. The Batar Alliance gaming team, do they? I thought it was just art. This is a Ralph on porn, it's just there, but you know where, like, uh, wait, 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 what? But it doesn't around, revolve around porn, it's just there, what, what is? I don't know what you're talking about. Genuinely Discord, I don't want to stream on Discord. Discord is not a streaming platform. And even then, Discord rooms have limits. They have limits on how many people that can join. I want it to be where anyone can join. Newgrounds, only you can stream on Newgrounds. Yeah, but you can stream. I'm talking about a streaming platform, not a video game platform! We talked about what someone said it earlier, but I thought, I thought that was only for art, from what I understand. I was under the impression that it's only for art. Microsoft Teams, easy. No! Talking about Newgrounds, I'd be catered around. I don't know about that. Because I, when I was growing up, that's what a lot of us knew Newgrounds for. Like, yeah, it had a big, like, non-SW presence. But let's be real. We all, we all, we all dabbled in all the porn stuff on there. It's just like a, like a hit. It, it, I want to say it's like a hidden thing, but it's like a, yeah, everyone does it, but we don't talk about it sort of thing. Use a zoom for hentis. <laughs> no! It's also the Arc they allow a little gaming. I just don't want to get banned off a platform. You guys all have the fun flash hentai games. Yeah, exactly. Like everyone knew it had stuff on it. But no one wanted to talk about it. <laughs> get a revived mixture, but mixture doesn't allow NSFW stuff. It's not an 18 plus platform. I want specifically an 18 plus platform where 
it's not revolved around sex and boobies and putting something in my hoo-ha, but I can at least go on there and have a little more freedom to and be able to like do silly silly jokey NSFW streams like Koi Katsu or dubbing dubbing hentai because the funnies. Do you guys introduce us to Legacy uh, Slutty Mix Sluts? <laughs> Metaverse Koi Katsu stream. Honestly, it's just centered around gambling. But can you stream and it's like still do like, you know, aside, like non. See, that's the thing though, because like that's where I am as a content creator. That's where I am as a content creator. That's how I de define myself. It's like, I'm not someone who does like the. Like NSFW streams. I don't get naked. I don't put anything in my hoo-ha. I don't, I don't do that. I don't want to do that. I don't wish to do that. And I will never do that. However, a lot of my streams I wish could have an 18 plus label on it. Or I'm allowed to do like non nudity based NSFW stuff, you know? Where it's like, I don't get naked, but maybe I want to watch like a, like a video and do like commentary or some bullshit like that. How cringe would you and Leah collabing be? We collabed before actually. Too bad it got our, or it got, it got taken down. <laughs> Me and Leah did a really, really nice, um, collab about like conventions and being like, and being within like the, like the idol convention scene. But unfortunately, that one got taken down. I wish to not say the reason why, because I feel bad if I mention it. It has nothing actually to do with, with me or... With me. Wait, our collab part was fine, actually. It was really fun. Really keto. Uh, but due to other circumstances, out of my control, um... It got taken down. <laughs> EWKT collab with Joe. I want to collab with, with Joe Buckley again. And everyone in Let Me Tell You About. I want to do it. Are you saying you want to restart the Bible Black Viewing Club? What? Here's the problem with allowing adult content makes this, that makes it a porn site. See, but I don't want it. I don't want it to be like known as a porn site. That's the thing. I feel like I wanted something very specific, but like don't understand like the, the like the implications that it brings, you know? I want my cake and I want to eat it too. I can't do that. I can't do that. Naked is not advertiser friendly. I never said I was advertiser friendly. Businesses need money. No, they don't. No. Businesses are not obligated to money. They're not obligated to make money. What an uncensored platform, but if uncensored will eventually turn into porn. Exactly, exactly. Mirror to water your oshis, everyone. <laughs> water your oshis, everyone. Let's hydrate them. Typical woman. I know, typical woman moment. Why something but not understand, understand the implications that it brings, you know? Thank you for the hydrate, everyone. I'm only doing one hydrate. So if you spend more on hydrates, like that's your, you're wasting your own thing. I'm only hydrating once. Y'all are wasting your, your, your hydrations. Yeah, y'all are wasting them. I'm not going to do, I only did one. I'm not doing them. I'm not refunding them either. <laughs> I suffer. Die. Die. Suffer. Waste your, waste your, waste your points. Waste your points. Do it. Yeah, waste them points. Dan ready to go take a piss. Waterboard and redeem win. Sorry about the hydration, Yeru. No, it is. That is what it's about. It's always been about that. Y'all gonna break the fucking bot. I swear to God. Y'all gonna break the bot and then you're gonna cry at me that it's broken. Y'all gonna cry that it's broken, and I'd be like, Yeti, why did you break the bot when you guys were the ones spamming it? It's happened before, it's gonna happen again! <laughs> Acting like I'm affected by this, I swear. Uh, 
I am not affected. <laughs> I am not affected. Kanda, why is the bot broken? Shut up. You brought this on yourself. You brought this on yourself. Cry. Cry about it. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna turn it off. Don't make me I will turn it off. I turn it off before I will turn it off again. I just have no idea what I walked back into. You walked back into into chaos. This is what happens. This is what happens when you give chat powers. You can't get you as a streamer, you cannot give your chat power to do anything. Otherwise, uh they will they will take advantage of you. They will take advantage of you. Ah! Are you trying to water our anime? No, you're trying to make me a smooth brain right now. That's what's going on. Y'all making me smooth brain. More like what happens when Yeti is too damn bratty. Yeah, I'm being extra bratty about this 18 plus platform thing because I want it so bad. I want it. But I can't have it because I'm trying to have my cake and eat it too. And I can't do that. So our normal stream, fuck you. Hundred by the way, welcome, welcome. Correction required. Microsoft Teams, fuck your Microsoft Teams. Pretty sure they'll block me here if I even show one titty. <laughs> Skype stream. How many people can you put in a Skype room, actually? How many people can be can be on Skype at, at, in like one chat room? Or like one chat, or like one call room? Idle kiss, thank you so much for the idle kiss. Ready? Three, two, one. Mwah! Thank you. It's actually a good question. It is a good question. Is Yahoo Messenger still around? No, Yahoo Messenger ended. Stream on MySpace since no one gives a shit about what happens there. Can you stream on MySpace? I'm pretty sure you can't, actually. Afternoon, Niaru. Welcome back and happy to see you again. Yay! Just happy I won't redeem spam on my favorite idol. Thank Other you. Happy 32nd month of friendship. Four more to go. Yay! Thank you so much for tier love, one of 32 love, months. Love, Niaric, love, Niaric, happy 31 or 32 month anniversary to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My streams became music focused after a re. Yeah, they're music focused now. They're music focused now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go completely unrelated now because I just I, I've been wanting to talk about this with someone. Um. So over the weekend, uh, you know how I said I went to go to like a graduation or You know, graduations require people to dress up. It requires people to dress up and everything. Do makeup, wear a cute dress or whatever. Okay, I did that. I wore a cute dress and everything, but. I don't do my makeup that often. However, after this trip, I'm going to make an attempt to do my makeup, like, whenever I go out. Because I realize how good just a little bit of makeup can do. I'm not wearing, I like, actually, can I be honest with you guys? I'm wearing makeup right now. And the thing is, like, my makeup that I'm wearing right now, it's nothing, like, super heavy or, like, you know, alters my whole appearance or anything like that. It's not appearance altering like some of those really heavy makeup influencers do. But, but, I did look in the mirror and I was like, wow, it, it kind of cleaned up, it, it kind of, it, it, it's kind of like, see, just as a go cheat on this, no, I didn't, I didn't. Makeup is overrated. If it's a little bit, it's fine. Cause like the only thing I do is like the thinnest of eyeliners, a little bit of mascara, some concealer to cover up some red areas, and then a little bit of blush. And it goes really far. It goes really far, chat. It makes me feel really a little more confident than I usually do. Cause I do gotta say, I do suffer a little bit from rosacea. If you guys don't know what, if you guys don't know what rosacea is, it's pretty much like, your cheeks are constantly red all the time. And like, yes, that means I'm internally blushing all the time, but sometimes it doesn't look good on me. 
No makeup gang. Hey, that's good for you though. Yeah, yeah, do get it makeup. No, I cannot do get it. No, I can't do. I can't do heavy makeup. I can only do like a couple of dots of like concealer, a little bit of blush, a little bit of mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, and I don't even do anything to my lips. I do nothing to my lips. Per perma blush. It is perma blush, and I used to get made fun of for it actually. I used to get made fun of for having uh, my rosacea problems. She realized she blushes to the chat. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Graduation where the Chuma did- No! It's not a Chuma graduation! My cousin graduated from- From- Not college, um... From fucking high school! She graduated high school. I got perma blush. Bit annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. I got bullied for it, so... The fact that I get, like, covered up just a little bit... It, it, it makes me feel good, chat. Just a little bit of clean things up a bit in the best and it can really make a girl shine even more. That's how I felt, actually. Just like, it's like a... The slight cleanup, and it makes me feel very confident. So now my goal, because like I, ne I was a t okay. I'll be real. I was the type of girl that was like, I'm not like the other girls who do who put makeup on their face. Like I'm not like them. I'm all natural, and I'm better for being natural. I was that type of girl growing up. Again, annoying. No one should be like that. No one should be like that. So I give you avatar rosacea. A little, yeah, actually, that's the reason why. She has like eternal blush. <laughs> Ooh, she's only got the girls. Ah, she's only got the girls. Ah! <laughs> but I realized, like, you know, it doesn't matter. That shit don't matter. If it makes you feel good, I think people should be allowed to do it. Now, I don't like makeup that alters the appearance, you know? That like, it, it's like a heavy altering of the appearance. Touch-ups, that's fine. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like, you know, photoshopping a picture of yourself. Some touch-ups to get rid of like, some strain hair, some strains of hair, a pimple, or whatever, that's fine. But if you completely alter your face, your body, and everything during, like, when you photoshop, that's bad. That's bad. Where do you draw the line? Because I also just come back surgery is also- I think cosmetic surgery is fine. I think it's as long as it makes you happy. Personally, I don't like it. But I'm not here to tell you that, oh, I think it's bad and you shouldn't do it. Or, like, you're the worst person in the world. It's just something, personally, I wouldn't do. I don't see myself getting cosmetic surgery. Because I don't think I need it. But at the same time, if other people do it, I may not like it, but I'm not gonna go red in the fucking eyes and be like, Ooh, like, I'm gonna cancel them and they're a horrible person for doing that or some bullshit like that. It's the same, it's the same with like me tweeters, you know? When they're, when they're like, like when they see something that they don't like, or they see someone that they don't like, they go red in the face and like try to make a twit long, like trying to cancel them or whatever. Same concept, different type of people. Honestly, every teacher is trying to figure out who they are. There's nothing wrong with trying that, by trying uh, to not be something. Mm -mm. Very libertarian of you. I just want to live my life how I live my life. If other people want to live their life differently, that, that's fine. I'm not here to say they should or shouldn't. Makeup to make you look like Sailor Moon, anime eyes and all. I do feel a little bit like Sailor Moon. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a little more refined. You have to agree with something, but you can accept others that do it. Hmm. -mm. They cause they said you do more harm than good, TBH. Yeah, I don't want to do it. I I don't see the like. I'll be real with you guys. I want to chop off my big ass titties so bad. I want I want to be flat, cute girl that can wear any sort of style of t-shirt and look good in it. I want to do that so freaking bad. But, you know what stops me? Scarring. And having to, like, you know, live with those scars for the rest of my life. And then the post-op for it is atrocious and nasty, too. It's just not worth it for me. It's not worth all the pain and suffering just to... 
just to probably get something that I think I want, and then later on, I'm gonna regret it, you know? I'm just gonna deal with what God gave me, and go about my day, and try my best to live with what I got. But lower cancer risk. Okay, if there is a cancer risk in my family for it, I would chop off my titty. But thankfully, we don't have any history of breast cancer in my family. Thankfully. Sometimes bigger isn't always better. Hmm, I don't want to go bigger. I want to go small. I want to chop it all off. Oh, cool. You could give them to me. I would totally do that, though. If there was a way I could give... Let's just transfer my titty to someone else who really wants it. I would do it in a heartbeat. I want to give my titty to someone who would find it useful. Because right now, I don't find it useful. <laughs> Hold on, we will be more than willing to help you get a hold of them if they're too big. No, not like that! Don't eat your boobs yet, it wants to be nerfed. No! I'm just tired of the back pain and not fitting into both shirts. Like, guys, I could be a medium, but I have to be a large or an extra large for room, so I can have room for my titty and most shirts. And then shirts end up looking baggy on me, and I hate it! I hate it, chat. I hate it. Just don't wear clothes, vibe. <laughs> hey, don't do that, okay? I already, I already don't wear clothes. But isn't a full mastectomy and doing nothing in false dilemma? You can simply get a uh, resection. Ah, uh, for me, it's like if I were to do it, I just get rid of it completely and not have to deal with it for the rest of my life. I can't be most cool, but that's a different reason. <laughs> Some people find that cute. Well, I hope you guys find it cute, because goddamn, it's annoying! Doc, come on. I'm sorry, but I got just sounds. But uh, to a guy, that sounds kind of hot. I can't believe I'm Does that sound hot? Having to go a shirt size up, because you. I could be a medium. I could be a size medium, but I'm a large because I have to wear a baggy sh And now I have to wear a baggy shirt, and it looks baggy on me. And the only reason why it looks baggy on me is because my titty. Research it would make the sense because the rest of the boob covers the scar and you still get the benefits. Hmm. I like, but not the way you think. <laughs> You're an Irish male, so most of us would not see a problem with this. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, cute tomboy with sex, so <laughs> baggy equal com Baggy do equal comfy, though. I do wear nothing but baggy sweaters. Oh, man. Summer's gonna end, guy. Or, like, winter, winter, spring is gonna end, and I'm gonna have to deal with. Not wearing sweaters anymore inside my house. And I'm gonna be very sad. I love wearing sweaters. Sweaters are like my number one favorite thing to wear. I like comfy baggy equals sexy. I'm tired of pretending it's not. I'm tired of pretending it's not. Dress like a chola. Why? I don't want to dress like that. If you ask any guy if they want to spend more on large pants or the size of comically large jingling, they would take they would take it in a heartbeat. It's almost soon as practically summer are letting mm. Taylor clothes donation go to fix your boob issues. <laughs> Every summer reminds me why I'm a winter person. Exactly. I'm gonna miss sleeping in my attic. I'm gonna miss sleeping with a whole bunch of cute jammies that I have. And cute sweaters. Scout. Now I have to sleep now again! Because it's hot! I don't like the hot! I like the cold! Where I'm nice and covered and I can wear cute jammies! You need the sharp eyebrow for the troll I don't like the sharp eyebrows! Besides, I hide my eyebrows with my with my bangs. So it's fine. I don't see any issues in naked sleep uh, sleeping naked year round gang. Naked sleepers rise up. I had to stop myself from making this joke. Don't make the joke. Don't do it. <laughs> sleeping in a warped bed on the summer is like the worst. Hmm, I'm gonna miss sleeping without having to wake up to bug bites. Oh, I don't want to think about that. I do it all the time. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Naked sleepy is really comfy. It is comfy though. It is very comfy. 
I am in the slum for a millisecond, I will instantly set fire like a cartoon character. Me too! Me too! I don't like the sun. I think the sun should, is like my number one enemy in the world right now. It's my number one enemy. Because I don't like the feeling. You know what's the worst part about summer, guys? Is when you go outside, you're not wearing a hat, and then the top part of your head feels like it's burning. I hate that feeling. That is the worst feeling in the world. I hate that feeling. Do y'all know that feeling? I'm not a helophobic. I live in humid hell. I'm so sorry you do. Just wear a hat. Fuck the song. Fuck it's kind. Fuck it's kind. Daylight sucks. Waste of. Oh no! There you go. It's almost my time in my room, but if I don't touch the song for long, I get depresso espresso. Me too. That's the thing. It's like I have to force myself to go outside, otherwise, I'm gonna get depressed. And Menhara. And then in Florida, you just get used to you just get used to it. I'm so sorry you live in Florida. Is there a way we can help you get out? I'm sorry you live in Florida. Is there any way we can help? <laughs> I'm sorry. Desert heat gang. Nah, it's very hot here. It's the hot coffee. I need to give you raised dough for mental stability and vitamin D. Yeah, me too. It sucks that you need it. Yay! Condolences for- I love when my interim randomly dies. Me too, bro. I thought my interim was gonna die during the storm, but it turned out fine. No. Damn it. Humanity here just started to hit here. Time for the AC until October. Let's go! Tropic countries where I said, says this say the evil to stop us from becoming V tweeters. Is drinking six cups of coffee daily okay? I think you're addicted, doggo. I think you're addicted to coffee. You need help. You need to go to an Okay, intervention time for doggo. Doggo, we want you to get better. We don't want you to rely on substances to feel good. Well, are you willing to go to a facility for 90 days to get help? Cafe is a cringe and cope drug. It is a cringe and cope drug! I'm addicted to soda and iced tea. I go on holidays all the time and I don't like burning alive. Mmm. Dog, I need a crack to replace the coffee. No! <laughs> Fuck you. I, I like freaking coffee. Well, you're addicted! Actually, speaking of, speaking of like interventions, I was watching that show yesterday. Interventions, actually, you know, you know that show where it's like they get like the the drug, the drug users, and then like their family like puts them in a room, and it's like you, you we're having an intervention with you, and then they try to send them to like facilities or whatever. There's a show called yeah, there is a show called that. It's very sad, very sad show. Cause it's like damn, you're, you're part of you is kind of rooting for them, but another part of you is like man. If they don't accept the help, it's like, what can you do, you know? You ever played TOT Classic? I've not played TOT Classic. Actually, fuck you, I'm going to another coffee right now. No, you can't, you can't go to your coffee dealer. You can't do this, doggo. You can't keep destroying your life for coffee. One day you're gonna end up dead in front of the coffee dealer! And then we're no longer gonna have Doggo here! We're gonna lose you! Yeah, the sad reality is on the- Oh, and the answer, how- how's the Afkai? Afkai? Afkai's off for another two weeks! Cup of coffee sounds good about right now. I had the crazy idea of doing intervention, but with Chupa's, uh, sitting and gets us down, telling us they're not their girlfriend. Cuban coffee- Leah says it's cool, Doggo. Cola, pill, capinus, over cock. <laughs> Man, realize those people are drunk guys just because most people, uh, drink coffee. Mm -hmm. 
Like, like Siri said earlier, coffee is the cope... Is, is the cope drug. Addictions can happen. Uh, see, that, a lot of people think that addictions are only limited to drugs. That is so not true. You can have like technology addictions. You can have emotional addictions. You can have like people addiction. You can be addicted to someone. Viewer intervention shit would be something. I would totally do viewer interventions. I totally would. But at the same time, I feel like that would be so freaking yab. So basically every K-pop fan. Yeah, pretty much. Addiction to streaming, meme addiction. I mean, are we all? We're all addicted to something. It is very true. It would take months to fix it. Intervention, v uh, Yeru intervene, or uh, Yeru does an intervention with, with VT. Let's fucking go. It sounds like a really chaotic stream. Okay, he seems to be good. Uh, okay, like off Kai Expo? Does that five second delayed and audio dump button, right? Yeti is my drug of choice. Still had to do a private intervention with viewers. <laughs> Instead of a meet and greet, I do interventions with viewers. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not a licensed professional to do that. I feel bad if I, okay, unironically, like as funny as that sounds, I feel like that would be really, really dangerous. Cause like, I am not a, I'm not a professional, like a mental health professional that, you know, should be doing that. I feel like I could actually hurt people more. If I go, if I go through with something like that. Man, using my data for stream, not good. <laughs> don't use your data. Don't, don't waste your data. Auction as you like, can't stop anytime I want. Actually, I did talk about this, this conspiracy theory. This is the conspiracy theory I talked about. That we're all addicted to oxygen. And that oxygen is just like a gas that the government pump, like pumps out to keep us in line. But in reality, if we were to get off the oxygen, we would actually see the realities of how bad shit is. That's one of my favorite conspiracy theories. I made that up myself. I don't know if that's like an actual conspiracy theory, but I, I like to believe I made it up. I'm gonna the makeup as it should, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Let's get the tinfoil head. Don't buy the big oxygen. It's time to stop, time to stop breathing. Don't stop breathing, please. Time to stop breathing in Minecraft. Who wants to throw? Who wants to throw? Anyone want to throw? The rain can't control me if I cut oxygen. The oxygen is laced with something. Time to stop breathing until I exist the matrix. Because I mean, think about it, chat. It's very fucking convenient. That oxygen comes from trees. <laughs> it's very fucking convenient. The oxygen just happens to come from trees. Kill all plankton. Kill all plankton. It's to get to tree farts. Be free. Yeah, be free. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. That was a good hit. Ah! Can you die by holding your breath? You pass out and start breathing again at the worst. Hmm. Does that make corpos that are cutting down trees the real heroes? Potentially. Potentially. Look at all these scientists they paid to brush the narrative. That's how addicted we are. A lot of oxygen is supposed to come from plankton. Have you ever seen plankton? Yeah, they're like little microorganisms that live in the uh, live in the ocean. In Hampshire, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you here, friend. Okay, I want to play. I want to play sniper. I want to play sniper. I'm in the mood for some sniper now. And where are you, teamer? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you here, friend. Yeah, they really like secret formulas. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the secret formula to oxygen is. 
Why do you not just smoke this crack? Damn it. Kind of used to collect some iPods. Did you ever own one before? I did own an iPod, actually. Multiple iPods, if anything. Fuck you, by the way. I loved my iPod growing up. The only thing that sucked about it was, like, growing up, you had to, like, illegally download a lot of, like, J-pop music. So my iPod wouldn't have like the nice cool like album art or anything like that because I didn't know how to do it And it made me sad because all my friends had like cool album art and I didn't Kind of crazy that the water is uh, something we also need to survive almost like there's a uh, just like oh, it's convenient, right? Just really convenient It's all really convenient. Ah It's all really convenient Mission ends in 10 seconds. Mission ends in 10 seconds. Five, four, Wait, did you get the ARG method to get music too? Oh no, I just went on like YouTube. If I had a favorite song, I would just go on like one of those YouTube to MP3 download sites and then do that. Five, four, three, two, nice. We did it, we won! First match of the day, we won. Let's go. Do you still have that? Because it was in my hate streaming music services and shitty internet, so I'm going back to iPod. I don't have one. I would love to own one, though. I would love to own one. I've been thinking about, like, a lot of old technology recently, and, like, an iPod would just be very nice. Something I could just store my music in. And don't really have to like, I guess like worry. Fuck you, spy. I fucking love illegally purchasing music so much, me too, friend. And we're trying to like me to park. Lincoln Park Faint MP3. <laughs> yes, exactly! Exactly! I'm moving this. I'm probably gonna do it. See you. No problem. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you have a good day, friend. Only have some memes to you. So she's gonna be going to bed soon. Try to go buy one from Goodwill or on the online eBay. There's also online stores called Elite and obviously that can give you an iPad with new battery and flash modded aka SD cards. Ooh, that sounds nice actually. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, that wasn't one. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Fuck you! I can't like it on Discord actually, and I'm on two. You're on two iPods? You're Wait, you're viewing me on an iPod? That's really cool, actually. There's a guy on YouTube called Dank Pods who flash, uh, who flash modded a classic and put a whole terabyte of SD storage on it. Whoa. I want to do that. That'd be super cool. Modding, modding an iPod stream. iPod's still operational? I mean, yeah. Any sort of device is technically still operational. It just probably doesn't have online support or something like that. I have an arm really buy an FM radio because... Uh, because the modern phones are included instead of being a little use for internet. I don't like internet radio. I hate internet radio. I'll be real. There we go. Medic. I need a medic. I need a medic. Ah! A spy got me. What are your team? Welcome, welcome. Uh, what players? What players are you good at? Team? What classes am I good at? Not players, right? I don't know what you mean by players. Uh, if you mean classes, 
I'm pretty good at scout. Pretty okay at sniper. Uh, person I'm a spy kind of person, but curious about yours. Yeah, I, I'm i pretty good at scout and sniper, mostly. And if, if you really piss me off, I can be good at, um... At heavy, too. Ah. Oh, I see you, I see you, I see you. Nope. Yeah. If you do a cancer, remember that HD back of the iPods are fed, but you could try it and also own the iPods with no touch. Mm hmm. And you're so good for following sports. It's good for following sports, and that's it. So they made a modern walkman, but made it fucking thing seven. Why did they make it seven hundred dollars? Oh, let me see if we can do an RTD. Ah! Heavy is the rage option. Got it. Mm hmm. Are you on a community server? Yes, I am. I'm on my own community server. If you'd like to see the details for it. Oh, I never pinned the message for it. I never pinned the message for it. But there's how you can connect if you want to. There we go. I have a pin now. Yay. <laughs> nice! Hell yeah. Whoa, nice! Ah! Do you know Buford? Nope, I do not. Sorry about that. Wow, did y'all see that? I don't know if you saw those headshots. But those are really cool headshots. No, fuck you. Those are some good ass headshots I had there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hello, Maggie Lily. How are you doing today? I'm Fleshy. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Server switch. Server switch. Server refresh. Hmm. The reflection is where you could get a cre uh, creative with the mask. I don't really worry about reflection. I mean, like, there's pictures of me online already, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's possible to donate TF2 hats. Uh, yeah, it, it should. There sh it should be possible. <laughs> it should be possible. The only thing is my Steam account has, like, actual real information on it. And I'm like, I kind of want to make a new Steam account soon. Just so I can accept stuff. I'm beautiful. Well, nice to meet you. We hit you on a ThinkPad nub as hell. <laughs> kiki, 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 kiki. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for the follow. I need to make a new Steam profile so I can like get gifts and everything. Uh, should I do? S actually, I should do heavy. I want to do some heavy. I'm not pissed off at all, actually. I just feel like I need I want to do heavy. <laughs> and I said I forgot to tell you how to accept trade requests while keeping your account private. I'll drop that and recommend it after the stream. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, cause that's the only thing. I just want to keep my account private. I think bad user, uh, can you call that other think bad user a nerd with no bitches? I know, I think dog, you're specifically a nerd with no bitch. But think bad users are pretty base though, in my opinion. How do you do the code thing within community service? I'm not too sure what you mean by code thing. How else will we spam friend requests? You don't! Not even a crit! That was not even.
even a crit. How did they hit me? Unless they got an RTD. It's so hard to tell. If it's like RTD or it's like genuinely someone being stinky. Backstab, but backstabs don't result in a one hit KO for, for a fucking heavy. Uh, oh, they do? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I just don't know. <laughs> See, because I usually when I deal with... Usually when I deal with spies, they're... Oh, my God. There we go. Ah, okay. That, that time it made sense. Okay. Is in the backstab a one-shot backstab to deal infinite damage to anyone that isn't Ubered? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pretty sure they did the same thing that happened when I backstab. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a woman. I'm a woman who don't know better. Can I join you? Yeah, everyone's free to join. As long as there's room in here. No! Womaning. You only need not uh, surprise stats are boss bots in MVM. Mm. Backstats can deal damage equal to 200% of the turn target health and always uh, critical hits. I mean, I guess they ain't called backstab for nothing. <laughs> How do you open the in-game command box? Uh, the instructions are in exclamation TF2. Um, I can't really explain it to you guys. If you guys need a tutorial, I would recommend looking it up on YouTube on how to open that stuff. Yay. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 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 Chat. Chat. I don't know how many of you guys watched it, but... Who watched the who watched the final day of Fish Tank? Who watched the se the season finale of Fish Tank on Monday? Who watched it? Hey, wait a minute. Too busy? No. I mean, I was busy too, so I, I don't blame you. I was in and out of it. Did it actually end? It did end for real this time. It was the season finale. Jesse and Letty were so broke. They were so broken. I got a TLDR of it. Never touched the series. Mm -hmm. Never watched it, so no, no. I feel like I'm the only one that actually watched it. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that actually watched it. The final challenge for all of Fish Tank was a mud wrestling competition between Letty and Josie. Josie was the winner, the overall winner. But for some fucking reason, they gave Letty $20,000. And I was really upset about that because I think she deserved nothing. Yeah, Letty got floored by Josie too. Like, got absolutely mobbed. It was so heartwarming when Jeb was trying to hold back to you. It was really heartwarming. I love the fucking Charlie and, or Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory bit that they did at the end. Where, where, where Jason was like... Josie, my boy, you've won! You've won! <laughs> Thank you. Josie won all is well in the world. Yes, all is well in the world because Josie won. That's all that matters. But they were do so so Jason Goldstriker and Jet were doing a live stream actually. Uh, I think it ended already. Did it end? Let me see. Oh no, it's still going right now, actually. It's still going. Damn, they've been at it for like- They have 38k viewers on their thing. Wow! Is there an edited version? There is not an edited version. Not yet! The documentary for Fish Tank Season 1 will be coming out in six months. 
It just shows that Sam is actually a big salty that won't make truly a moral hell house to trap Zoomers in. But it was a nice show anyway. They already confirmed a season two as well. I can't wait to see it. If you try to be the first YouTuber to get on season, I will not associate with that crowd. I love, I love watching that stuff from afar. But as far as like, you know, participating in that, absolutely not. Absolutely, I don't want. I don't want those kind of. I don't want to attract those kind of people. Yeah, look, don't touch. It's a look, don't touch kind of situation. Yeah, they're gonna do it in the winter time. They're gonna do it this winter. I'm. Ex I'm excited. They go to show. Uh, I want to watch the produced. Uh, the produced video. Hmm. -mm. I love watching train wrecks, but I don't. I do not wish to be part of the train wreck. You can watch, uh, you watch the fire from afar, but nobody wants to be, yeah, no, you can watch a fire from afar, but you don't want to be. It's funny, because, like, my cousin, uh, my, not, not the ones I went to go visit, but the one that lives here in Colorado. My co cousin, too, was like, you should go, uh, reach out to Josie and do a collab with her. And I'm like, I would love more than anything in the world to collab with Josie and, like, do, like, a mini interview with her. But holy shit, but holy shit, the amount of crazy people that will come with Josie, and it's not even her fault either, because she's a very, very nice girl. But the amount of people, the amount of crazy people that are gonna come and probably check me out, and then they're like, probably stick around and cause a lot of trouble, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Be like San Francisco Nick Rochefort who stays away from most of it. Mm -hmm. Gotta go now, chase through the game, and uh, have a great evening. Thanks for check video for being here. Thank you, thank you. I hope you have a good day. Oh, yes, some memes to you. Kimmy United loves watching people suffer. Yeah, who doesn't, want, who doesn't love watching people suffer? Ah, I didn't see them. The last thing I did with Letty and Jesse, there were so many desperate horny, horny types in their chat. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like the favorite system for both the show and the fans. They kind of ruined the suspense of watching to see how it ends. I mean, that's how it really is for, like, those kind of reality TV shows. Big Brother. Big Brother is a good example of this. There's always the favorite one where it's, like, the show gives them the, the, the favoritism because if they leave, the, the, views, the views plummet. That's just how it is. That's just show business, baby. That's just show business. That's just reality, reality TV business. But the fact that it did happen with two of them and not one... It, like, one... That's the max it should be, the one favorite one. But the minute it goes to two or more like favorites, playing favoritism, yeah, that that's like, that's a little too much. Vance, deserve, Vance did deserve final two though. Vance did really deserve the, the to be in the final two lineup. I think it would have been much more interesting Damn it. Letty has a fan base. Yeah, her fan base is really fucking toxic, though. That's the only thing. Her fan base is super, super toxic. Um, I was listening. So on my flight, uh, w while waiting for my flight, I was actually listening to a Twitter space that had Letty in it. They were interviewing Letty. And oh my fucking God. You know the VT sisters meme chat? You know that, that meme, right, chat? It's like that, but unironic. It's that, but unironic and super toxic. And like, and, and the thing is like, she kept saying like, oh, well, I was playing the, the asshole, the mean one, like the, like the unlikable one because I wanted to. And that she, she was doing this all because she wanted to be like the, the, the bad character in the show. And I think that's a huge ass cope. I think that is a huge ass cope. She's just masking how bad of an attitude and personality she has. Yeah, she was just playing a character. Like that's that's such a a fucking cope. 
The lady fan base feels Astro Trick because she was the only other contestant after John left. Mm -mm. She was a character. My tier 2 sucks and I can't join the community server because it's either tier 2 or Steam, but it's broken. It's not broken. I think there's too many players in there. You probably have to wait for someone to leave. Everyone's been connecting fine, so. Six week. Yeah, six week long character. Lady Sims are desperate for a golden shower from Piss Queen herself. Really? I think her character was herself, but cranked up very extra. Degree. No, I think it was all genuine. But she knew she wouldn't be liked afterwards because she cannot change her character or she cannot change who she is for a fucking show or just be nice in general. So she used the excuse of uh, being a character in order to get away with that stuff. Alert. Our control point is being captured. How? Then she's good at acting, so someone give her an Oscar. It's not acting, that's the thing. It's not acting, that's the thing. Yeah, it's just all one big gulp. She's really big beach. Her character was lost to Letty. <laughs> she's acting worse than Noah was around more than in front of people, uh, in front of people, so it shows. Mm -hmm. I just find it funny. It's very funny. King coming. She's a king coming. May I be at? She's a bitch. She's the biggest bitch. She's the biggest bitch in the whole wide world. Wait, 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 wait. What's the what's the Kyle's mom is a bitch song? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to replace it but with Letty. Letty's is a bitch, she's a fat, she's, wait, Letty is a bitch, she's a big fat bitch, she's the biggest bitch in the whole world, she's a stupid bitch, she ever was a bitch, she's a bitch to all the boys and girls! Um, my name is and she's a bitch, and what she's doing, she's a bitch, then on Sunday she's a different super coming king, may I, may I, bitch! Yay. <laughs> Win kick. No, I don't. I should cover that. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna film my cover this week. Um, or this week's cover soon. So, I'm doing the car capture soccer opening because I feel like it. So, look forward to it. Yay. <laughs> Why am I trying to shoot at them? The control point is being contested. There we go. Are we defending A? A point? I'm thinking for the hydrate. Thank you, thank you. this weekend though man that you're only gonna hydrate once well that was a different hydrate give me a hand thanks for the rest of the scene and again welcome back and good to have you back i'm so happy to be back thank you for being here he used to be super happy with a good day i have some memes to you hmm. i'm just happy to be back i love streaming guys the fact that i can come here and be and be me and no one no one will be upset uh, some people will be upset about it but most of y'all won't be upset about that 
it's very it's a very nice feeling it's super super nice i hope other people can feel how like i feel about streaming McCart Brand Kicks was this weekend. Oh, nice, nice. Fuck him, you do you and be yourself. Hmm. I just love streaming, guys. I just fucking love. I just fucking love streaming. Streaming is so fun. It's great. It's amazing. I feel bad for the V tweeters who are. Like, who get angry when they stream? Because they're suffering. Fighting games this week? I wish I was doing a fighting game this week. I wish. Many such cases. Many such cases. Many such cases. What do you mean by come here? Yes. Don't feel bad for them. They made their choice. They, yeah, that's true. They did make their choice. If I remember the console's not enabled by DVI. The console's not enabled by default. You gotta, you gotta go to your settings and do it. Okay, we go with sniper now. Or not sniper. Um, scout. They really just say sniper. You need to re-clip the thing again? It's gone? I'm not too sure what you're talking about, friend. Scoot. Scoot. I love Scoot. Yeah. Ah, who's shooting me? No, fuck you! I'm trying to think what else to... Oh! Oh! So, when I arrived in Texas... I was supposed to be talking about Texas. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny, chat? Wait, what was I talking about? I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted with TF2 for- I don't know why, but I just thought it was too late to hear- No, we're supposed to be talking about it, but we're talking about other bullshit. <laughs> so they talking about my trip to Texas. But here we are, talking about other unrelated bullshit. But yeah, um, I went to Texas, it was pretty fun. When I got there, my- my- so I stayed with my aunt and my uncle. They live in, I, I went to Dallas actually. For those who don't know, I went to Dallas specifically. I haven't been in Dallas in like maybe seven, eight years. The last time I think I was in Dallas was for like an anime convention that I worked for. Yeah, that was like 20, that was like six years ago, man, six years ago. Uh, but a lot of da Dallas has changed. A lot about Dallas has changed. Usually I hated going out to Dallas. But for some reason, it was just super keno this time. I loved it. Um, there is so many good places to eat there now. But, uh, when we, when I got there, my aunt and my uncle and my cousin were like, are you hungry? We kind of want sushi, and I'm like, oh. So I suggested to them that we go to Kura, Kura Revolving Sushi Bar. So the so like the the sushi, revolving sushi, place, and they loved it. I'm so glad that they loved it. They were they like they even got on like the little Facebooks and were like, oh my god, our niece took us to this amazing like. Curve, like this sushi bar, and it was so fun. We want to go back and everything. 
I guess it's a Dallas for work once. It was pretty cool. Surprisingly, a good place for bird watching. Really? Did not expect that, because like, because when I think of Dallas, I think of like downtown Dallas. Nice. Ah! Restaurant costs a revolver, revolver sushi, like, like a, like the gun? You just get a gun and shoot sushi in your mouth. <laughs> but yeah, it was super, and then my uncle is like a really, really big boba person. So he would use me as an excuse to go get boba for himself. <laughs> but I wanted, but they took me to so many cool boba, like you, like one of a kind boba shops over there. Like I didn't go to like a gong cha or like a kung fu tea. I went to like a lot of the local places that they have over there, like the one of the kind local places, and they were so freaking good. It was really, really, really good. Oh, and it's really, really cool because apparently where, uh, well, I guess it's good if you like. Uh, if you if you're like you can see different types of grackle grackle what's grackle like a bird? Talk to monkeys and not to feed any of them who's revolver sushi. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this reference. I don't know what this is referring to. I'm a woman, please understand. I think I confused boba and booba. How is that confusing? I don't get it. Metal Gear Solid. Oh, I haven't played a Metal Gear Solid game. That's probably why I don't get it. I've never played Metal Gear Solid at all. I'm not a video game type person, chat. Despite playing TF2 here. I only recently started playing video games. Growing up, I would play Sonic games and that's really it. I would only play Sonic and Pokemon. Hello, that mask, welcome, welcome. Does Boba come for Booba? No, it does not. It does not. There's no correlation to it at all. Geckos look like smaller crow, but oil spill like sheen to them. I love them. Oh, those! I've seen those before! Sir Rocky Boy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you here. Metal Gear, a Metal Gear series is a series, all right. Mm -hmm. Yoda likes it. Metal Gear Solid 3, Revol uh, Revolver Ocelot. Loves revolvers, also meow, so Soviet soldier? I, I still don't understand that. I don't know what that's referring to. Like a character or a video game or something within the game X Gakko XXD XK thank you so much for the follow welcome to the stage happy to have you I watched the YouTubers go down the middle gear rabbit hole it was fun nice Play my America Cell 5, but I've heard it's not the entire franchise lore. It's kind of a meme just to say Revolver Ocelot. But how is it a meme? I don't get it. It's not a good meme if someone outside can't get it. But then again, it is a good meme if someone outside can't get it. <laughs> I'm being dumb. I made a dumb woman! Please understand. Dumb woman doesn't understand video game references because she's woman. You like it when you see it. How do you know I'm gonna play Metal Gear Solid though? How do you know if I'm actually gonna play it or not? What if I don't want to? Makes no sense that we're with or without kind. It just looks funny. Revolver Ocelot is his code name, and he's a fun guy. He's a six tuple agent. What's a six tuple? What's a six tuple? Chat, you have to assume I literally know nothing about any sort of popular video games. You literally have to assume. You have to talk to me like a fucking two-year-old, okay? Maybe that has some crazy Yaoi and you would should instant, so yeah, you might like it. But I don't like Yaoi. I don't like, ooh, I never mentioned liking Yaoi. I like Yaoi like maybe when I was like 14, 15. Six to what means six times. Like double G, it's like six times. But why is it six times? Why? What's the point of that? In a picture of Robert Oslo announcing he's Robert Oslo satire of Robert Oslo. Well, more of you are reading Robert Oslo satire of Robert That doesn't make sense. It sounds confusing. 
Well, the Metal Gear is not the series for you. But I'm trying to learn more about it, but you guys are telling me more turns I don't understand. How do you expect someone to get to understand a video game that I know nothing about if they if you keep mentioning terms and things like that they don't understand? It makes it even more confusing for them. He's obsessed with cowboys. 18 naked cowboys! Never even know which side he is working for, really. Wait, there's sides? This is a very confusing franchise. He's a rundown brawl for also betrays. If he speaks to them, he betrays. I don't understand what this means, chat! What are you guys talking about? You guys are talking in foreign language at this point! Just play the game, give it a go, and decide for yourself. I don't think I want to! Anymore? Yeah, you're scaring this hoe! You're scaring the hoes, guys! This is... See? You and the... <laughs> You guys want to talk to girls, but then you scare them with shit like this! <laughs> Imagine spoiling Metal Gear in an attempt to explain a meme. Don't play the game, watch the Hi, I'm Daisy re- Oh. What's Hi, I'm Daisy? Who's that? I don't know how, who that is. Hello, sir. Hello, Fajama. How you doing? He did die just Metal Gear at some point. I need Metal Gear explained to a two-year-old. That's what I need. Is there a video like that, chat? Is there a video where it's like explaining the Metal Gear franchise to a two-year-old? Did it work comic of the series? Gonna have gonna do some community service. Nice, cute. I'll be like a day. Don't forget to hydrate. Wait, there's many of those videos. Unironically, I will watch one. Cause like the thing, something that always frustrates me, chat. It's like everyone says these references and I don't understand it and then you guys try to explain it and make it even more confusing! Okay, well, it'll take many hours. Hey, I got hours to kill after stream. I got hours to kill after stream. Also, hydrate the streamer. Hydrate. You guys should hydrate, actually. Why aren't you guys hydrating? Why isn't chat hydrating? I think chat should be hydrating. Chat should be the one hydrating. Ah. Uh -uh. Metal Gear is plot twist the series, also boxes. See, I do know the box reference. I do at least know about that one. You know, snake hides in the boxes or whatever. There's this lord, there's a boss everyone calls the boss, but someone beats it so he gets the bigger boss so I heard to call, uh, than her, so they call him big. Who are you talking about? What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. What? I'm not even more confused! Who are you? He really, I know he just really loves cardboard boxes, okay? Oofy, is that even canon? <laughs> Oofy, I don't even know what's going on, Oofy! Woman scared! Woman is gonna cry! Yay, we won! Yay! Okay, post a cigar roll over video in the video channel on Discord. Okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> Ask Pamu. Pamu explains Metal Gear Solid to an actual two-year-old. <laughs> Woman on the internet. Woman on the internet! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Women are 
real! Ah! It's game over, chat! It's no longer our sanctuary! Because there's women here. Easy Eli, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you here. Commented the entire series a while ago. Yeah, I, I, I remember, like, I'm a subscriber, her, so I see her, like, with the... With the things all the time, or like the waiting rooms for them? Ah! Uh. So I guess cooked by his son and kills himself. I don't know why you remember- that sounds like a spoiler. That sounds mm -hmm. like a spoiler. The control point is being Sorry, I was checking my phone for a minute. <laughs> Big one is fuck you funny. I think TF2 may be broken. Why is it broken? It looks fine on my end. Ah! It looks fine on my end. Yeah, air popped on valve map. Oh, that's probably on your end, actually. Yeah, that's probably that's probably on your end. Otherwise, it would have showed up for everyone, and I didn't get anything. Which is maybe my favorite game ever. And then the signs is pees his pants and tells the badass here he likes anime. Okay, now I know you're shitting me. Now I know you're shitting me, friend. He said, think my user are base. Why is that? Because they use an unconventional type of computer. And I think that's pretty based. He is not, he is a very... No, that sounds like bullshit. No, that sounds like bullshit. Tabs, are you fighting some massage? I'm gonna fact check this with Yoro. I'm fact checking this with Yoro right now. I'm gonna message and be like, is this real? This can't be real. I'm fact checking with her because she has played all the Metal Gear Solid games. She's gonna ask how you know all of that already. No! This sounds like bullshit! This all sounds like bullshit. Scout, calling here. I've got work. Uh, oh man, guys, you know what's also in a month? Or like, in less, less than a month, I think? Yeah, less than a month, uh, almost less than a month. In about a month, if anything. You know what's in about a month, guys? Anime Expo. I'll actually be going in person to Anime Expo. Birds of, uh, Bird the Scout Man, Maine. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stage. Happy to have you here. I can't wait to go. Damn it, I can see everyone in S Pro. Administration. Oh, Anime Expo. Fuck you. Friend wanted me to go to Otakon this year. Is Otakon still good? Dude, also a big weak point is giant mecha because of course robots should have a big weak point. What do you mean Metal Gear Solid is a mecha? But yeah, I can't wait to go to Anime Expo. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna meet a whole bunch of people. And I get to see all my yes pro siblings. It's gonna be so fun. Mission ends in 30 Anime Expo's like the one big con that S Pro always goes all out for. Not like when it comes to like a booth or anything, but definitely when it comes to like um, networking and getting to meet like other VTubers and uh, getting to meet you guys actually. Getting to meet you guys. Where is it? It's in California, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's in California. You 
The great thing is this year I booked my own hotel room. <laughs> I, I'm not really rooming with the S Pro people this year. Um, I decided to get my own hotel room because I'm like, <gasps> I got a good deal on one. Anyways, <laughs> I got a good deal on one uh, using my points and everything. And it's a little bit closer to the convention center, so I don't have to Uber. Or I don't have to take up Uber space. I felt bad last year because I took up Uber space. So no Nyeru Yoro cuddling this year. No. No. But I bought it on my own. And we're using we're using my hotel room actually as like storage space. It's gonna be like the storage slash restroom a uh, rest room uh while we're at the convention actually. Because it's just across the street. My hotel's across the street from the convention center, so it's really fun. We can walk to it and then have a rest, go get some lunch, and bring it back to our hotel, hotel room, stay cool, and then go back out and have some more fun. So we don't have to go, like, because that was, like, the thing that really killed us last year, too, for Anime Expo, was having to Uber back and forth from, like, the hotel room to, um, what do you call it, the convention center, and then back, and then eventually we got tired of it, and it wasn't fun. Yeah, it's gonna miss huge parties. I'm not I'm much of a party person, TBH. Not much of a party person. I don't drink and I don't I don't like the big instance musics. So I don't think I'll be missing much. Other than hanging out with you guys, I guess. Check in my local convention and I volunteer with to invite you, but the it's little boomers I couldn't even understand what the VTuber was. What convention was it actually? What convention was it? Do you have some good fan art wallpaper? I do! On my Patreon, actually! On the fan club! You should join it, friend! You should join it! Uh, I don't have the command for it. Exclamation fan club! Join it and you get- you get wallpaper! You get wallpaper! Never been to a real party myself. I've been to like uns, 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 rave type of parties and they're just, just not my thing. It's really not my thing. If you ask you if I'm a Mega uh, MSG fan explains for hours. That's fine. Because I genuinely want to know. But I want to know with context. You know? Music Con and Anime EY. They're run by the same circle of people. Wait, aren't those in Utah? Anime EY is Utah. Wait, is it? Anime EY. Oh, South Florida. That's Florida. Never mind. Are you an independent VTuber? I am not. I am part of a corp. I am part of a corpo. I am part of an agency, a VTuber agency called Shiyu Productions, which is a VTuber agency by fans for fans, where our community makes a story with us and they don't just witness our story. You are part of the story, friend. Ooh, my battery's dying. Shit. I don't have my charger with me. Please support all of the S Pro people, not just me. Shia Yuri or S Pro? Uh, we're called Shia Yuri Pro, but we say S Pro for short. S Pro is just a short way of saying it. Wait, okay, okay, okay. Pastoring. I was looking at EY right now, and I find it funny that, like, they have an Evo style competition, but they're too boomer for VTubers. <laughs> they have an Evo style competition looking thing, but they're too boomer for VTubers. Or too boomer to understand VTubers. You're going to Florida without a claymore? What's that reference?
Oh, 22230 ThinkPad has pretty good leg support. Do you guys install Gen 2 on your computers? It's a funny, funny, funny technology meme. <laughs> yeah, Linux needs. Install Gen 2. What a silly little. Was it. What's the. What's the word for it again? Technology. Technology is traditional. Okay, there's traditional gains. What? Te oh, G. G. Yeah, G. <laughs> G. I was too short to maintain a Gen <laughs> to maintain a Gen two install. I remember like early in the er, like in the early days. I remember I would see threads about like people. Going to like Apple to install Gen 2 on Apple computers. <laughs> Are they to install Linux on like Apple computers? The con can be a bit chaotic in this mansion, to be fair. The competition could be managed by one guy on its own that just asks nicely. Kind of thing that hap has happened before. No, but like my point is, my point is, my point is, you're too boomer to understand, VTuber. We're all for like esports. It's just, it's just a contradiction. It's just a contradiction. It's, it's, it's nothing against you guys. I just find it funny. I just find it funny. This is not bad, but you have a thing. Uh, you have Fingle to play video games. Vintage Dance early 2010 MacBooks are actually really good computers. They are. I had my mom had like a MacBook from like the like 2000, like a 2005 like MacBook. That thing lasted until I till I hit middle school actually. What? A bit. A bit. Damn it. I let G-Port sometimes and Lex has been an addiction to mine because of how customizable it is and it feels like a real hacker while editing config files in Terminal. <laughs> it's too complicated for me. I'm a woman. Please understand. I gave it trying to convince them and I showed them with some of your clips and they were like, uh, so what does she do or is this an AI? <laughs> That's understandable. A lot of people still don't, a lot, surprisingly, a lot of people still don't understand like what VTubers are. Despite them still being very, very popular, a lot of people still don't understand like what the point of a VTuber is. Don't say we need more girls in CS, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apple computers are indirectly godlike. Just a bitch to fix the new ones. But once you get a MacBook that has seven years, no problem. It's only for work. Mm hmm. I edited my first anime music videos on on that MacBook too. Let's just see if I, can, if I can, like, find those old anime music. I think I can. I think I can, at least. Wah! I'm getting sleepy again. I actually took, like, a midday nap. I took a three-hour midday nap chat. I, was, I thought I was gonna do a lot of work today. But I got, like, super fucking tired and took, like, a nap. And it was, like, three- and, like, three hours later, I woke up, like, holy shit. I had to stream in two hours. Hi, wait, how did you get me from all the way over there? She hit it into a- No, we're supposed to be going until 7 so we can raid into Yoda! We're gonna raid into Yoda, guys. We're gonna raid into her, unless she starts early. Yeah, I know, it's a great way to BTFO your sleep schedule. Been there. Mm hmm. The thing is, like, I've been tired this whole day. Like, even right now, I'm very sleepy, actually. 
I'm very sleepy. I don't know what to do about it. Another 90 minutes then? Uh, actually, like 30 more minutes. Hope Yoda has fun. I hope Yoda has fun too. In 30 more minutes actually, right? Hold on, I'm gonna double check. Cause like, uh, she puts like the little time converter things for her streams. Yeah, it's seven. So like six. Six Eastern, right? Yeah, six Eastern. Hey, Ninja really just wonders for falling asleep easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause then you, you, you use up so much energy and everything. I don't know what channel Yoda will be on. I think, I'm hoping she'll be on her channel. Cause if it's on the collaborator channel, I, I personally wouldn't rate into them. I want to rate into Yoda. I say about Piss Baby and Mayotaku Robot Designer. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? So that caffeine deficiency is trying to get a night. I don't drink coffee. Never drank a cup of coffee in my life. This is on her channel, actually. Oh, wait, it isn't? Oh, if it isn't, we're not gonna read into her then. It may just end now. <laughs> can you, can you ask, actually, Mod Cupcake, can you ask if it's gonna be on her channel? Because if it isn't, I, I won't read into them. See, some of my caffeine decisions, would say that. But I, I genuinely don't drink coffee. I, I don't. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be on hers. I'll read into it if it's hers, but not on the other person. Coffee or green tea? I like tea. Tea is better. It doesn't have that much caffeine in it. It, it may have sun, but... Okay, wait, I'm still gonna try to convince music to invite you or someone else from Espro. The more well-managed one I think they would do will attract a VTuber. Oh yeah, definitely. If they have any questions, feel free to send them over my way too. I'm always happy to answer questions and explain things a little more thoroughly too. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pastorine. Thank you. Just a cup of coffee with pan dulce. No! Not with the pan dulce. I like milk with my with my pan dulce actually. Not with coffee. I, I don't drink coffee. I've never consumed like any coffee in my life. Like when I go to Starbucks with my family, I only order a water. how bad I am. What kind of milk? Does it matter? Wait, does the kind of milk matter? Cause I just get, I just get the lactose free milk. I got bottled green tea from Walmart once. It tastes like uh, sweat without the salt. Unbased? Wait, what's unbased? What did I say? Wait, what? I'm losing it, chat. I'm fucking losing it. Chat, I think I'm losing it. Chat, I'm going insane. Ah! I'm going insane, chat! What am I gonna do? I'm going insane! I'm going schizo! I'm going schizo mode! I'm moving this. Oh, I'm moving this. Anything less than the hole is a scam robbing you of your protein. Wait, wait, wait. What? Scout is calling. Got a contract for you. I can't believe you guys have soy milk. No, I don't drink soy milk. I just drink the lactose free. Because otherwise I get brappy. Because I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. That's the one reason why I really like going to Kung Fu Tea. Is because they give you the lactose free milk and I don't get brappy. I just don't want to get brappy! That's it! <laughs> I don't even like almond- I, I don't like almond milk. Or like the soy milk. Just a lactose free type of milk. Like that's it. <laughs> Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. He was around men for cow milk. No they were not. I am proof of that. <laughs> I am genuine proof of that. 
that humans are not made for a uh, freaking milk. Ah, we over here? Oh, we are over here. and say that say what how you're not eating dead hookers is killing your gains what at the end we never know the joy of whole milk is a crying shame see like growing up i wasn't lactose intolerant that's the thing growing up i would eat ice cream and drink chocolate milk and everything i do everything chad i love drinking milk when i was a kid it didn't even matter if it was like whole milk skim milk whatever the fuck 1%, 2%, I didn't care. I loved milk. But then as I got older, I started getting the shits! I don't know what happened! But I got the shits, and I haven't had, haven't, haven't not had the shits while drinking milk ever since. I don't think the trade request link that worked because it requires your account to not be private. Yeah, it requires your account to not be private. And that's the thing though, I can't have my account not private because it does have information on it. Like private information. So I, that's why I wanna make a new Steam account. So that way I can, I can, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> that's why I can't, uh, what do you call it? You know, Do shit, yeah. Human source of that stuff to detect milk, but as you grow up, you listen to enzymes that break down lactose, not only from cows, but for any source. That makes sense. I just get the shits whenever I, I fucking drink milk. And it sucks because I love ice cream. Love boba. Love smoothies. But goddamn, I'm so sad. I'm just so fucking sad. The Matrix guy is cheating, is cheating. Which Matrix? And lactose intolerant. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, McDonald. Actually got me. <laughs> lactose intolerant. All right, I feel good. If there's any, if you guys want to make any reports about certain players, please be sure to do it to mods, not to me, because I can't do anything about it. It said things from your safe new account from people and then give them to your person. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Ah. I will shit my brains out before I will at least drink skim. See, I just drink the lactose free because the lactose free isn't skim milk. It's just lactose free. It's still milk, but without the lactose. She's in our byproducts are safe because lactose has already been broken down by the bacteria. Mm. Have you tried goat milk? I've always wanted to try goat milk, actually. I'd love to try goat milk. And so there's less, like, less lactose than, than cow milk. They're all alternatives. But I don't like the almond milk. I think the almond milk is, like, nasty. Also, one week of delay before you can trade items you receive from a trade. Yeah, that too. I think they sell goat milk at, at Whole Foods, right? Have you tried A2 milk? What's A2 milk? By the way, Izzy Kyo. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for watching your first time chatter. How am I not hitting him? Would an almond milk kill you? Probably. Almond milk is literally water sped uh, spe in almond shreds. Yeah, I think it tastes nasty. I've had it before I had my peanut allergy. 
I didn't like it. Closer to tea than milk. Yeah, that's what it is. It, it just tastes like watered down, like... Milk alternative. <laughs> I mean, that's it. That is what it is. It is. That is what it is. Just run watered down milk alternative. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Nope. Coconut milk isn't too bad. I want to try coconut milk. I wouldn't try my. I wouldn't try trying. I wouldn't mind trying coconut milk. Oh, nice. Uh, Yoda won't be on her channel, by the way. Oh, okay. So I think after this song, we're going to end it for today. Tried soy milk. It's not bad, but it does not taste like milk. No, I don't like soy milk. No. I like the lactose free milk. That's the good shit right there. But yeah, I want to try coconut milk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind trying it. I wonder if they sell like little bottles of like goat milk and coconut milk at like the grocery store. Cause I'd love to, I love to still like try it. Lacte got me acting. Now hello, base soda. By the way, thanks for the first time chatter. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. Since Yoda's not gonna be on her channel. We'll go ahead and end over here for today. Oh, I need to go take a nap again. <laughs> I think I need another nap, but thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you so much, Base Soda, for the follow local to the stage. Thank you so much, guys, for coming as well. Thank you, thank you for a lovely comeback. Thank you for all the subs today, guys. Um, as a reminder, here's our schedule for this week. Uh, thank you so much for coming to the comeback. So tomorrow we'll be on YouTube in the morning uh, or in the afternoon. And then I'm still not. Whoa, shit, thank you! Holy shit, thank you so much, Base Soda, for getting 10 tier 1 subs too! Master Dex, Delta Freya, The Bean, The Notorious, Chronic Waffle, Lynch, Mr. Pleasure Bear, uh, Rachel Shivers, and Bear in the Woods, and Sampling! Thank you, thank you! Did you taste the mother milk? Also, do I link the source of the iPod? Yeah, you can link it on my Discord, doggo. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, friend! Thank you, thank you! Um, here, I give you... Since you gave 10 subs, I feel bad. I feel bad. Have a free idol kiss. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay, so yeah, here is... <laughs> Do not feel bad. No, I feel bad. <laughs> also, cute pick of the schedule. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, here's my schedule for the rest of the week, guys. We're going to have so pretty much something happening every single day this week. Uh, except, of course, Monday and Tuesday because I wasn't here. Uh, tomorrow we'll be on YouTube doing a Sonic Adventure final. It'll be the final, final uh, stream of Sonic Adventure. Uh, we'll be finishing it up because we're at, uh, we're, we're on the last two stages and last two boss levels. So, if we're to come by, Valve House Roleplay will be at 3 p.m. PT here on Twitch. I'm still not explaining that. You better figure it out for yourself by coming here. Uh, then Friday, we have another YouTube stream, South Park Secret Truth. We are continuing. And then, uh, Ryan Turn TV and I'm on Twitch. And then Saturday, like I said, guys, we're gonna have, it's, we're gonna be having Tia 2 and Yetacore versus Lumicore. We're gonna be going off against the Yellow Woman in Phase Connect. That's right. So, uh, it, I don't know if she's gonna be there specifically, but the community members are the one that invited me. So, thank you so much, Lumi Cord, for inviting Yedu Cord to come play some TF2 with you guys. We're gonna be doing, uh, some little scrimmage matches and just having a good grand old time. Uh, and we're gonna have a rotational, uh, sort of team lineup. Uh, so, does anybody know sign us or anything? It's just gonna be, feel free to come when you want, feel free to go when you want. Uh, but do give other people a chance to play as well during each round. So, yeah, that's going to be what we got going on on Saturday. I'll be at noon. And then Sunday we have fan club stuff. So if you are part of the fan club, feel free to come on by. Uh, and if you want to sign for the fan club, there it is right there. Yay. And there is that. There is that. That's pretty much all we got going for this week. Yay. Yay, 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 yay. All right. Yeah, other than that, that's all I got for you guys. <laughs> that is all I got. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much everyone for a lovely comeback stream as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and see if we can go say hi to someone. I'm gonna go take a nap. I am legit gonna go take a nap. Uh, let's see. Let us see. Let us see. We can go raid into... <gasps> Takako is 
streaming. So we'll go say hi to Takako, which is my number one favorite maid VTuber. She is so sweet. I love her so much. We're gonna do... So for those with subs, or for those without subs, you can use made love with the hearts. But if you do have a sub, thank you so much for supporting me. Or if you got a gift sub today as well, you can use made love with the rave. Nap is one hour, someone said, but those are rookie, rookie numbers. Rookie numbers. Alrighty, everyone. Feel free to go say hi to Takako. She is going to be playing Dark Souls today. So if you like Dark Souls, and if you love maids, and if you love VTubers, and if you like a combination of all three, I highly recommend it. She is very good. I love Takako. She is my friend, and I want to hold her hand. Guess what, chat? I actually met Takako last year at Anime Expo, and I got to hold her hand. And she had really soft hands, and they were the best hands I have ever shaken. So please, support this maid, because she gave me soft hands. I love this maid. Is that a Bucky's bug? Yes, it is! I'm from Texas! I'm gonna go visit family. And I, I, I went to Bucky's. <laughs> I went to Bucky's. That's why I'm wearing a cowboy hat. Cause I went, I went home to Texas. I'm gonna go see my family. Alrighty, yeah, everyone. All right, I'll see y'all later, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Ultimate, yeah, ultimate, yeah, ultimate, yeah, yeah, yeah. See you later.